Good evening, and welcome along to episode three of the Soft Rowan Saga, to Terrible Trouble in Templetown. Just a heads up about what's happening right here on Penny Dragon Games this spooky season. Tomorrow from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. GMT plus one. I think we're still there. It could be BST, I'm not sure. But you can catch DM Ryan run the Penny Dragons team through Revenants. The Revenants are here, but why? Who has brought them to this place? All we know is that whatever it is, it cannot be good. And then we're straight into Mothership from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. GMT plus one with DM Richard and a motley crew made up of Penny Dragon DMs, which is sure to be fun. Mothership is an old school space horror TTRPG by Tuesday Night Games. Space is cold, people, so don't get too attached to your finely tuned characters. We've been broadcasting one shots all week, so don't forget to check out the VODs on Twitch. Last night saw DM Craig, who was nothing short of brilliant, run a bunch of poor unfortunates through Tomb of Horrors. And that was absolutely bananas. Everything the old lethal classic Dungeons and Dragons was and more. The crack of the Twitch was mighty. And that one character death will go down in Penny Dragon history. R.I.P. Bork. On Tuesday, we had both the Undeadlock. The party meet up for their first ever in-person D&D game after almost a year of only playing online. A cabin in the woods is booked for <laughs> this can't be good. A cabin in the woods is booked for a long weekend of gameplay. And that's where the fun begins. Also, a nice twist in this one is that the players are playing themselves. This Sunday, tune in from 6.30 p.m. GMT plus one to Cloaks of Minehelm with DM Ben as our heroes are heading further down into the darkness, the Necromancer's tomb drawing ever closer. I've been following this one as well as well as often as I can, and I have to say Ben, who is a brilliant DM, also has a fantastic group of players around him, so please check that one out. Um, I'd also like to thank Kate from It's a Map, without whom we would have no awesome detailed battle maps upon which to inflict mortal wounds on our unfortunate heroes. Check her out on Twitter on at It's a Map IRE and on Instagram on at It's a Map. I'd also like to give a shout out to Underworld Gaming and Tala for the mention for, for the mention on their social media channels this afternoon. Um, they gave us a, a nice shout out. Uh, check out their new store for all of your gaming needs and pop down for some IRL gaming fun. With all that, let's meet our players as I look to my left and see where they are on my screen at the moment. Before um, that, I just want to say thanks to World Anvil for rating the stream with over 70 viewers. Now it's dropped down to 45, but uh, really? please stick, feel free to stick around, guys. This Brilliant, session, yeah, stick around. Dave, um, and uh, watch, watch the carnage. I um, dropping down as soon as I said thank you. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay, so let's, uh, well, seeing as you've uh, spoken up, let's meet Carrick. Hi, I'm Carrick. Uh, I play Ren, who is a resident pyromaniac wizard, as all wizards really are, to be fair. Um, so he's a... Uh, He's traveling with the party for a few, couple of days now at this stage, you know, since they met in Summertown, or Summer, Summerton, sorry. And um, after, you know, almost burning down the town of Templetown, down, I, that rhymed multiple times. And, um, you know, starting an argument with a bunch of kids, he's he's ready to barbecue some boars. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Um, let's meet uh, Jean. How's it, everyone? I'm Jean. I play uh, Lamut, the half oak druid. Uh, yeah, currently in direwolf form, and he sees a meal, and a meal sees him. Um, <laughs> so let's uh, let's next meet Jonathan. Hello, everybody. I play Venor, a wood elf monk, and he's just seeing this boss and he's like, "How did I get up? How did I end up here?" So yeah, excellent. Uh, next up is Shane. Right, yeah. <clears throat> I'm Shane, uh, and I'm playing Jaden, the human fighter with his trusty glaive, and uh, you know he's just in search of his next paycheck. You know, just hanging around because he's looking to get paid. Excellent stuff. And uh, next up is Deadpan, who I think might be muted. Oh, of course. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm playing Robert. Uh, he's a human rogue. Uh, Bit of a storyteller and a writer, and he's looking to uh, add these fine creatures to his collection. Oh, his beastry, yeah, excellent. Okay, yeah, so nice thanks, gang. Audience. Now it's time for a quick recap. Our heroes, fresh from their victory in the town of Somerton against an invading goblin force, made their way to Temple Town, which they heard was in need of brave adventurers. Strange shadows spotted in the town at night. Hunters killed by wild beasts. Children going insane and killing their parents. All that, framed by the mysteries of the temple, two days north that gave the town its name. The party met Grundletooth and Kronk, the gnome and ogre baking duo. Frida Moondrop, the ancient-looking proprietor of the Shadow's Rest and her eccentric staff. 
After a wander around the town and a rather unsettling encounter between Jaden and a child, that for a moment to Jaden seemed to be anything but, the party investigated the local school to see if they could dig up any clues as to the whereabouts of the son of the owner of the meadery. While gathering information, the party heard the children refer several times to a woman called the Carved Witch, but were reassured by the dour headmaster, oh no, that the children were just letting their imaginations run wild and there was in fact no truth to their silly stories. Leaving the town in search of young Bren, the party began to relax and enjoy a beautiful forest scenery surrounding them. That is, until they entered the clearing and were greeted by the sounds of giant boar snuffling and snorting and searching for food. Uh, we take you now to that forest clearing. Thanks again for gifting subs, Christian, as always. Your, your addiction. <laughs> now, um, at this point, they're just snuffling around doing boar shit. <laughs> they seem to have uh, maybe noticed the sound to the northwest, but uh, they certainly haven't. Uh, they certainly haven't uh, gone for you yet. Is there anything anyone would like to do? It's not quite a surprise. It's not quite a surprise round. But um, what would you like to do? Yeah, I would like to uh, grab a little like. You know, my yellow know, shoes have those little straps on the back to pull them on sometimes. Yes. Yeah, I have a little leather one of those. I'm going to grab it back. It's a cured leather strap. I'm going to cast Mage Armor. Mage so, Armor. Okay, no problem. Go ahead and do that. Yeah, Anyone so else I like to do anything else? Uh, sorry, are there any yeah. verbal components to Mage Armor? Excellent. There is, but I don't know what to say. So. Uh, well, it doesn't matter. It, it's, it doesn't really matter what you say. It matters how loud you say it. Ren. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, excellent. Um, let's let's just say make a stealth check. Okay, I should be okay at those. I think this is not crazy. Well, I mean, actually, let me just check what their passive perception is. I mean, look, I, I said it quietly. So. <laughs> well, their passive perception is eight. So yeah, I'm fine. Excellent, a successful roll for once. Brilliant. Yeah, so you, you, yeah, you cast your spell and you feel the the arcane armor surround you. And you're now wearing this mantle. Anyone else want to do anything? Uh, is he is now fourteen. They're beginning to scales take, an, probably, take an interest. Well, scales would probably just uh, draw uh, his uh, morning star and sickle. Okay. And Lamut in wolf form is going into hunter mode, so just gonna make a stealth check. Excellent. Okay, roll that stealth check. I mean, they are not very. That's an eleven. Yeah, it's a bad still, roll. Still, that's still pretty good. It's, it's still enough. Where are you going? Uh, basically trying to make my way over the um, log. <laughs> and then with, over there. With your four legs, give me a dexterity, just a standard dexterity check. Or acrobatics, whatever is better. Mm, they would be the same. Or well, you can try and jump. I could, but yeah, jump even. You, you can long jump, what, uh, three times your stealth modifier? Your stealth score, isn't it? Strength. Strength, strength modifier. Oh, sorry, strength. No, I don't know why I said stealth. So I can do nine feet. Let's see. Nine. No. It depends on where you go. I mean, that's <laughs> 10, 10 feet. Yeah, the back uh, legs will probably do that scrapey thing um, yeah, no. that, you, that you see in a lot of TikTok videos when, when dogs fall over. But uh, yeah, you can certainly try it. No, I'm definitely going to go for the dicks then. Okay, yeah, just make it. It's not, it's not crazy. I'll do uh, it. 12. I'll do it. Okay, Question so move Dave, your... Is that bird on the map actually there? Um, it is, yes. Yeah, frozen in stasis, Carrie. Unfortunately, oh, no. that, that's Shit. a whole that's a whole other story. It's a whole other <laughs> side quest. Um, uh, yeah. So, I mean, can I make it to where I wanted to make it, which is there? Yeah. Basically, I don't see why not. Yeah. These guys are sort of snuffling around. Um, anyone else want to do anything before? Uh, for now, uh, he's just going to follow uh, Lumut. Okay. I'm also just wanna. I wanna get a bit closer. And low. Stealth, stealth checks from anyone um, on that side of the river. That is at, at the very edge. You only have to beat an eight, so uh, just don't roll mm. one. 
How it's how floating bird? We just want to know why it's floating. Okay, this is very interesting. This could be like the the MacGuffin of this, the series, for all we know. How's everyone uh, doing with those stealth checks? Ten. Ten. Oh, Jaden, here we go. Oh, <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> so everyone let's is get, just kick it off. Your model of like ninja aesthetics, <laughs> and then uh, Jaden just hits a rock, and uh, <laughs> he just lifts his toe up just to try and rub Thanks. it through the big metal boot he's wearing, and they just hear a series of clanks, and you're just, <laughs> and they. Uh, immediately spot you guys. Well, they spot Jaden. Um, I don't need everyone to roll initiative, please. Be shiny. Yay! Yay! Actually, what kind of armor is Jaden wearing? Click your here. token and then roll. You should Chain see the, You should see the macro. I, I do not see the macro. Like, not today. Whatever. If you click your token, it should be up there on top left. Uh, so the, and it says initiative. No, I, 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 no, I don't see it. Not okay. Today. No worries. Holy not crap. today. It's odd. Okay, yeah, so no, I can just click and roll for my sheet. Yeah, I'm not used to playing. I'm not used to playing high dex characters. Oh, so I just need actually. Do you, do you know what? I'm going to remove all turns. Clear list because we still have goblins in the in the in the uh, in the in the turn order. So if you guys want to start that again, I love it. good. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yay! Why? I still the world's decent. Uh, this time I won't be going before the board. Okay. Loving this music, by the way, Dave. Cheers. Mm. That's um, who's that? That's from Tabletop Audio. They are awesome. Okay. Slightly, slightly delayed here. Sorry, just had to reload. No worries. It's coming. Jaden, the chat are calling you the dinner bell for the boars. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I suppose boars are technically big, so they will eat anything. So. Yeah, uh, a boar is a omnivore. Has that, uh, has that come along? I would know. Yeah, I'm just a druid. Cool. You would know. Well, well, make, well, make an well, well, have to think about it. Just in case. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, come on. By the way, I hope no one's offended by Sean's use of green face. I mean, I don't think half orcs are real, so she'll be fine. Okay. Uh, maybe. Oof. Okay. Uh, so we're still not there, no? Still waiting on Jaden's. I think I think it would be yeah, nice for him yeah. to go to go just one Halloween episode. Here we, there we go. go. Seventeen. Yeah. Lovely stuff. Okay, yeah. so let's uh, sort numerically descending. And first up, we have this giant boar who is going to use its full movement, which is okay. It is going. So the only th the only thing the only person you can see is uh, is Jaden. Yes. You can't see, see the okay. wizard in glowing purple armor. Yay. Do you want him to see you? Okay. No. Yes. yes. So he's going to use his full movement and he's going to go uh, 40 feet to there. To here. Um, and then I'm going to. You're still, you're still stealth. What are you hiding behind, Lamoda? The, the uh, basically, just was just crouching down be, uh, behind this uh, rise over here. Okay, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna give him a perception check. Um, Fair enough. That's what he's gonna use his action for. Um, let's just see if he has any pluses on that. Nope. So that's just a d20, standard d20. That is a 13. You, what was your stealth roll? 11. 11. So he turns to you. <laughs> And uh, you, he, you have immediately attracted his attention. Uh, if, I, if I could wave, I would. Uh, Dave, you I didn't seem to add me to the turn order. I have a oh, sorry, okay. there. Yeah, uh, I don't know. What to, I clicked the token, but it didn't seem to work. Just uh, right-click add turn, isn't it? Uh, yeah. yeah, should be. 
Oh, no, 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 you're in on zero. I just make a fifteen. Yeah. Cool. And I will sort descending again. Excellent. So next up is the next giant boar, who is going to use his full movement as well. Um, and he, they look incredibly hungry, by the way, and somewhat malnourished. Um, mm. for some reason. This guy is going to make a perception check as well. Actually, do you know what? He's going to go straight to the to, to the edge here, and he's going to just let him bellowing roar. And uh, just look at Jaden. That's all he's going to do for this round. Lamud, you're up. What are you at? Mm -hmm. So I will. Uh, hmm. I'm going to break stealth. Yep. And then I am going to simply charge up to 5, 10, 15. It's on. 20. Beast mode. Okay, it let's do this. On. And <laughs> I am going for a bite. Uh, 16. 16. That will do it. Uh, roll your damage. Uh, that is eight points piercing and a DC 13 strength save, please. Eight. DC 13 strength save. Okay, no problem. Um, so you're trying to grapple? Uh, knock him prone. Knock him prone. Okay, no problem. DC 13 uh, strength save. Does that do, it does straight obey damage or does it roll? Sorry, uh, say again. Yeah, it says here, damage eight piercing. If the target is a creature, it must see it succeed on DC 13. Does that mean it con consistently does eight piercing damage? No, no, so it's... Uh, uh, no, that's the average. Ah. Uh, anyway, um, so yes, it rolls a 19. So you jump on top of it. You, you see the... Like, you guys see the two animals kind of rolling over, it's scratching. The boar just writes itself at its kind of feet, comes back a little bit and moves back in. <laughs> Is, which is bigger, the motor or the boar? Uh, the, I mean, the giant boar is pretty fucking big, but I mean... The dire wolf as well, though, that's why I'm just curious. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean... I, 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 I'd say they're probably the same size, but the boar outweighs... The boar is like, he weighs a fuck ton, so like... Um, Don't get but, trampled. No, but the dire wolf is, it's definitely more lithe and agile. You can see it sort of yeah. kind of, you know, rolling underneath the boar and coming out and just kind of chomping down on its neck. I can just imagine Robert peeking his head out of the bush that he's hiding in. I'm just like, <laughs> I was like, yes, my beastry <laughs> is growing. He's down. He's yes. down on his Okay, Lamud, anything else for your turn? Is it? I'm done. Okay, excellent. Moving on. Jaden. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Considering he's... Work? Yeah, so he, I think he's going to uh, realize that everything's kind of coming for him, so he's going to try and cross the tree. Okay, excellent. Um, so he's going to go, I'm going to select it in there and go one, two, three, four. Quick yeah, dex check yep, or acrobatics, yep. whatever, whatever uh, is better. Athletics? Athletics if you want, yeah, no problem. Yeah, yeah. probably neat. More than enough. Yeah. Uh, it was four. So it was uh, one, two, three, four. And so I'm going to keep, keep moving. Five and six. Yeah. And with my glaive, with reach. Yeah. Uh, going to take a, a spinning sweep at him. Nice, nice. Uh, let's see how this works out. <laughs> Drew Kane says, you will be assimilated. That's a board joke, if I remember. Um, that is a hit on this um, this poor unfortunate boar here uh, for six slashing. Yeah, and then I'm going to um, use the back end to hit okay. it with the blunt, the blunt end with the bonus attack of uh, eighteen to hit. So, so, so it's so it's not the nine plus three. It's let me just roll that d four. The D4 plus three, isn't it? Two plus three, so five. Five points of damage. Quick mats. Minus five. Okay, so you run in, take one big slash with it, just straight across the, the snout, revealing bone. It rears back and kind of its front hooves come up, and then you swing around and catch it straight onto the chin with your uh, with the butt end of your glaive. It looks less than impressed. 
Um, anything else you'd like to do, Jaden? No, I suppose I'm going to just hold the, the makeshift bridge that we have and allow safe okay. passage behind me. Hold the line. Okay, awesome. Uh, next up, Ren. <laughs> Question, do I get um, any bonus to the fact that I'm stepped there? Or doesn't know I'm here if I attack? Yeah, you, yes, I would I would argue that you would get advantage depending on what you want to do. I would also say, Ren, it's very yes. important, very important. Only you can prevent forest fires, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I don't really have any... Um, I mean... <laughs> I have that could work here to prevent fires fires um you know what i'm gonna cast a uh, chromatic orb at first level so okay. what's uh, the range or not uh, let's see just one second i want to check yeah do i have a did i make a template for you 90 feet uh chromatic orb wouldn't need a template it's just the okay cool yeah grant 90 so, feet um, yep that's fine Ren pulls a small but expensive looking gem out of his pocket and then spins it. And as he does, blue energy starts to crackle and grow as an orb of lightning appears and he flicks it off his palm directly at the bar near Jane. So. Okay. Uh, excellent. Uh, that's, that's oh 20. my god. That is a nat 20. Wow. That is 18 oh. plus 13 lightning damage. Lightning uh, damage. So what is that? Twenty thirty-one points of damage. It is. Uh, Dave, <laughs> just to remind you, the critical hit table. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah excellent, true. excellent. Of course. So let's uh, let's get 100. a D one hundred roll there, please. Uh, three. Three. Uh, three. Let me just pull this up for one second. I have it. Uh, I have it I think my bad luck last session is turning. But you around. know what? I actually, I actually have the, uh, I actually have the fumble table bookmarked. <laughs> um, I mean, you can fumble second. for the board. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's, it's in for a shocking bit of trouble here. Yeah, I think <laughs> it is. Yes, shocking. Uh, that's a shocking okay. experience. Uh, so, what did you roll? I rolled a three. A three. You feel accomplished, but nothing remarkable happens. Regular okay. critical hit. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's 31 points of damage. Yeah. Okay, so it... Sh 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 like, you guys see this... This just wave of arcane energy cross the the, the uh, river beneath, and it hits this poor unfortunate creature, and you just see it, its legs and muscles stiffen, and you see kind of steam just rise from it. Its eyeballs begin to melt, and lets out this pitiful streak and falls to its death as it had exactly 31 hit points does, um, does, and does anyone want some bacon um, <laughs> yeah it is like it is crispy goodness uh, so With that Randall turn to I well suppose done. scales because scales start behind the seat I don't just set things on fire <laughs> kind, of, kind of the same but anyway no, um, you know, do you know how many fire. forest fires start because of lightning no. <laughs> it's a fair, like, Actually, that yeah, probably would, but yeah, he yeah. like, doesn't care. Oh, sorry, Dave. Yeah. I just realized I never rolled four scales. Oh, excellent. Yeah, yeah, cook of all. I mean, I can make that, it damage, so that makes you happier. Uh, 13, so she actually go he actually goes next. Okay, brilliant. Next up is uh, scales. Uh, did you add two? Are they in there? Mm, scales yeah, 13. They... Okay, let me just uh, numerically sort descending, and we'll go back down to... Sorry, Ren, is that you finished? Would you would you like to gloat? Uh, Bonus yeah, action I, gloat. I, I, already, I already made a I already made yeah the joke. Excellent, I, shocking. I turned, I was like, does anyone want bacon? Excellent, cool, cool, cool. Next up is uh, scales. Yeah, so just a double move for scales. Okay. And that's it. Okay. Let I like the little do... lightning sound effect of the yeah. music. <laughs> Uh, did, 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 kind of appropriate. Did, uh, let me go there. Um, let me just do one Here thing. Here it is, the Orb of Lightning. <laughs> okay. But that's 31 damage in one turn. Uh, one so turn Scales just use their whole their whole turn to do one just to yeah. get there. Is that right? No problem. Movement bonus action. Dash, no bonus. No bonus action. Excellent stuff. So next up is Robert Seth Cooper. Robert, uh, like Fenari with his keen sense of smell, would maybe even be able to smell kind of, it almost smells like burning paper as he has 
finished drawing the bar. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> and now he's like, okay. Did he draw the board? That is susceptible to lightning. That is confirmed. <laughs> uh, Very going to... susceptible to critical hits. Hey, hey, it's the tallest thing in that clearing. So, um, so he's gonna uh, run like that, if that's okay. Okay, yeah. And then he's gonna use his bonus action to dash. To oh, sorry, I first need to needed just a quick uh, athletics, uh, acrobatics, or dexterity check from scales as they went over that. And then the same from okay. from Robert, please. Okay. Mm. We're just gonna confirm where I'm going. Yeah, I'll go over there. Um, uh, acrobatics, probably. So seventeen athletics from scales. Okay, that'll do. And sixteen acrobatics. That is fine. You make it across the uh, the rickety log. And so. as he's running, he's gonna pull out one of his daggers and throw it. it kind of. Threaded past the dire wolf on the right side. Okay, rolled hit. And uh, the chat seems to think that these are the baby boars. Because uh, <laughs> I only have. Thank one you for the idea, chat. Left, so. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit! Copy I, paste I rolled, token. I rolled twice by mistake. Okay, so do you want to take the the critical fumble, or would you like to take the eighteen? <laughs> the first one. <laughs> the first one. Uh, eighteen is a hit. Um. You were not, but it is engaged with an ally, so you get sneak as far as I'm aware. Yeah. That's yep. nine points of damage. Yeah, okay. As you um, run across the logs, throw the dagger out in a kind of an underhanded throw, just sticks in. And it as, it, a... as it hits him, I'm like, that's a thick hide. Uh, yes, it is. Um, anything else you'd like to do, Robert? I don't know if you guys have noticed, but. Uh... There's like little lightning bolts around the wolf, uh, around the wall as well. <laughs> Excellent. You need to so, keep yeah. those because we have to do I do. An, an actual beast tree. Excellent. I have a file for it. It shows. I'm I didn't afraid. see that actually. Uh, hold that up again. Sick. Like little lightning bolts around it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, is high. that your turn, Robert? That would be the extent of my turn, yes. Okay, excellent. We're up to Fenar. Who is probably the most dexterous of all of you? So you should theoretically have no problem with this log. Definitely going into river. Uh, maybe yeah, uh, my last. Critical one. Critical one. <laughs> Let's see. For no, we're just talking like, about the... He falls in the river and hits himself in the head with a stick again. <laughs> but now I just okay. like looking. It's like okay, there was lightning, paper burning, running knife. Okay. Oh Deep yeah, there's breath. probably a smell of ozone is around as well. Oh, no, there is absolutely. Yeah, yeah, it probably stinks. So he's taking a deep breath and uses movement to get over the lock. Okay. Uh, what should I must I do? Um, acrobatics or athletics, whatever you're better at. I'll use acrobatics. Okay, no problem. Thanks, sir. With a natural <laughs> one. Oh, oh yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. Um. So you plummet the uh the thirty feet. Oh, thirty um, feet. That's thirty oh. feet. Yeah, it's 30 feet down. Look at the shadows that Kate from It's a Map has uh, put on these things. <laughs> so you, noticed, you, you, you hit the water, uh, I'm going to say, uh, on this side, because it's a natural one. Um, I'm not going to give you uh, 30 feet falling damage, but I am because it's a natural one. I'm going to give you 2d6 because you hit the rocks on the way down. Sorry, I'm after rolling one. Here's a second one for you. There's seven That's points of damage as you, um, um, as you hit there. Oh. You can make. Um, I, I'll let you roll it now. You can make an athletic check uh, to cling onto the side. It's going to be DC ten. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, oh no! Oh, no. 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 Oh, How do you do this? Oh, uh, this, is, this is karma for God. this is karma coming this back is, around from chat. From, uh, these are the craziest incredible. fucking rolls I've ever seen in my life. We're gonna That's die. the last we saw okay. us in here. Yeah, <laughs> never saw him again. He actually oh my god! To bring himself further just pencil down the dive. River. Yeah, you just I, I I think the river has just deposited you into in, into fucking close to Minehelm on Sunday. <laughs> 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 you'll you, be drifting down the sewer. Hey, um, hey okay, hey, Fenera, can you roll three d six, please? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five. So that stats. takes you about thirty feet down the river. Um, and uh, unless you have something you can do with your bonus action, like Misty Step, um. Bye. Anything I, I can least... do is like spend a key point and use 
a step of the wind. That's all. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, how how far will that take you? Uh, it's, it's, a dash. It's, basic, it's a dash, basically. Um, yeah, you, you you would climb at half speed, though, wouldn't you? Yeah, so it's fifteen yeah, feet. So, so, yeah, so if so you um be... you've you you you're gonna have to make an you have to make another um <laughs> uh, athletic check before oh. you can grip onto anything. So I'm gonna say that's it for you, Fnar. Unless there's something else very creative that you'd like to do. Um, we do love really look cool here. So if you have anything really cool you can think of. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I, I, I'm gonna try to like. To, okay, how deep is the water? Deep as you love. Um, it's probably about. Uh, I mean, there's one way to find out. You can you can use your movement. Uh, actually, yeah, which you? I'll see if you've been a movement left. You can dive down if you want. Thanks for the follow, Thunderbird. I want to like. Here's... I know it's going to be like really uh, thought, thoughtful thinking, imagination, like going yeah. down to the floor, um, ground, and just like all my strength and dexterity self and just like try to jump and shoot me out and get on the ledge again. Okay, so we'll we'll, we'll say that's what you start doing this round and then we'll yeah. give you, um, let's say we'll give you, if you want to use your key point to give you that extra push, um, that will give you advantage on the acrobatics check to push yourself up. Okay. <laughs> How's that? Which is fine, he, is yeah. he trying to do the thing where he launch, where you can launch yourself out of the water like people do with the bowling balls? Pretty much, yeah. It's an unfortunate hand gesture there, Ren, but yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> that's basically what happens for now. When don't do the balls. actions, don't do the actions. <laughs> 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 um, okay, for now, we are done. So we're up to the giant boar. Let me just re... Um, um, yes, actually, sorry. I have another one as well. Wait, did you say you have another yeah. boar? Oh. Let me see. Descending. Uh, okay, so you see charging through here, uh, 40 mm. feet are two more, uh, followed by um, a curious figure wielding a bow. Michaela, would you like to uh, join the fray? Hello. So you can pop in here. Uh, uh, let me just Christian's your... going to hate us. Yeah. yeah. I, think, I, 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 I think you might be ready for this, but we'll see. Um, let me just see. I just drag your token on. There's... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's do some roll 20 messing. Uh, represents that. Nameplate. Uh, I didn't do this before. It was always the way. Craig got cut out of this as well yesterday. Supposed to Wait, did some wild person just appear? Uh, you a furry just appeared! Uh, Shit! Kill it with fire! Um... I definitely don't look like a furry. Well, I do now because I'm dressed. Yeah. Yeah. I'm dressed like this. That was the joke. I realized, I, I realized what I said when I said it. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. You want the ball of lightning next? Move, just delete, use that token, save changes. Should be able to move that around now, uh, Michaela. By the way, chat for context, Ren looks really, really shocked. Excuse the pun. Right now, he's never done something that, like, powerful. <laughs> I mean, like, Robert is. Can you move your your token, a whole... Michaela? Yes. Excellent. Yes. So do you want to say, if you cl- <laughs> if you if you click your token and look up the top left, can you see a little box that says initiative? The turn order. I can see that. Up the just be beside the the select move pan view the little arrow at the top left. I don't think any of us. Any of, yeah, okay, that's really weird that today. you could see it the other day. No problem. Um, uh, if that's you want to just go into your character sheet and then roll initiative, Michaela. Sure. And I will add you to the turn order. Now, question: Do we have to fight Michaela? Or? You don't you. know yet. Hey, hey! I've wet my. I have. Uh, I have Twelve. my appetite for killing. Uh, killing okay, players uh... on Tuesday. So bring it. Okay, excellent. So the, the first giant boar is here. It's going to take. Uh, it's going to make an attack against uh, yourself, Lamud. Mm-hmm. Um, it's feeling. Bring it. It, it, it. You could see it was looking around wildly, um, and the survival instinct was kicking in. But then it it it, it, it hears um, several more of its. Uh, I don't know what the term is brood or whatever it is, um, and it it regains some courage. But it's going to take a tusk attack at you. All right. For a 21 to hit. 
That definitely hits. Excellent. Damage. Seven you slashing reaction, damage. So it, it, it rakes its head across and catches the direwolf just in the, in the chest area and you can see, you feel the flesh opening up and the fur kind of parting as um, it, it reveals bone beneath. And uh, you can see it gets a taste for blood and it's like Bleh! and moves in closer on top of you. Um, yeah. I'm really sorry about this, but I yep. didn't realize that I had Dread Ambusher, which allows me to um, add a bonus onto my initiative rolls. Okay, go. Do it. E equal to my wisdom modifier. Yep. Um, so... Six foot plus. Wait, wait. So it's a, at the start of your first turn of each combat, your walking speed increases. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so I should have... Yep. So what's your initiative? My initiative is two. So you so it's gone from 12 to 14. Wisdom. Okay, cool. Okay, Sorry, let's, uh, let's that's the short answer. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, cool, cool. Uh, let's resort that. Go up. The that giant boar is gone. The next giant boar is uh, where is this? It's dead. I thought it should be gone. Okay. Uh, so. That. Uh, uh, okay. Still, I think it's still in shock. I suppose. Hey. Okay. Oh. Next up. Um. Da, 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 so we move on to the mud. Uh, the question. Eddie boy. Yeah. This figure that appeared, what do they look like? Michaela, would you like to yeah. describe yourself? That would be nice. <laughs> um, you see a elf uh, female, and um, she's um, got white hair and blue eyes, and is staring down the face of Pumba right there, and eyeing them up, and not, <laughs> not necessarily paying much attention to you guys at all, just eyes on the prize. Yeah, you can oh, tell us she's been stalking these things for quite some time. Well, I've uncooked already for her, so she can't you know, like this. Okay. <laughs> um, so, Lamud. Uh, yeah, so noticing the other boars that have uh, come into... The Sorry, Lamud, before you, before you start, you have a pretty good passive perception, don't you? Uh, in wolf form... It you keep yourself be... stats. So, yeah... You keep yourself stats when you're well shaped, so it would be oh, yes, the same. Yes, I keep my mental stats. Uh, yeah. Give me a second. Okay. I'll just have to restart. It's all right. I can, I can look myself. Yeah, it's well. not very important. It's just for flavor. <laughs> Ryan, you missed the best thing I've ever done. In the oh, I don't even know where your, oh, where your actual kill you on Tuesday. character is. Oh, I moved into the corner of the map. Oh, there he is, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Uh, yeah, so just going for another bite on this. Yeah. Pass perception is 12. That's that's good enough. From the southwest, you hear a faint. <laughs> and a splash. And a, oh, and a splash. <laughs> okay. Uh, a seven is not enough to, no. uh, to make a dent in the thick hide of this boar. Is there anything else you can do with a bonus action or? No, nothing. Okay, moving on. Jaden, you're up. <clears throat> okay, so Jaden is going to turn and say to Ren, come on, wizard, don't get isolated. And then he's going to turn back and uh, head into the fray and he's just going to go one. No, he's not going to go one. He's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and he is going to ready an attack if and when one of the two boars that have just entered the field uh, charge towards him. And okay. Just, just plant his feet and just dig in. No problem. Um, and that's yeah. it for you. That is now. Uh, I'll, I'll take your guidance on whether we'll have the attack of opportunity when, you'll, when they come into the range plus the attack that he's readied. But yeah, I would argue with with most enemies that you you would have that attack yeah. of opportunity, but these guys have a charge feature, which yeah. I think might negate that. Um, that's fine. But, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll like we'll we'll uh, we'll play it by ear. So that's uh, Jane Ren. I mean, uh, all by your Ren second. self. I just want to make a measurement to see if I can hit this when I take my full movement. So for I'm just, I haven't and actually I go there, I'm just measuring just it out. Like... Sorry, I, tried, I was trying to do it before, but it wasn't working for me. Yeah, so I'm going to move to here. Okay. And then I'm going to cast Mind Sliver at the boar um, that 
Um, Lion Sliver, okay. Remote is fine. So, um, as, like, recovering from the, um, I suppose, the shock of what he just did, excuse the pun again, Ren is going to kind of just reach out okay. with his mind, and um, as he sort of connects with the boar, he's okay. going to drive a sharp, like, burst of, like, psionic pain into the boar's okay. head. I don't really know how to describe it, and it only well, does that's, one... that's good enough. Um, um, did, is, is it save or squish? Does he does he does he get to save for no damage? DC thirteen, it'll take. I think damage. Uh, let me check again. Uh, well, that's a natural yeah, one, so it doesn't it's matter. So it me. takes it. Hey, it takes one point of damage. Um, so you can and see uh, the next saving throw it makes, it subtracts one d four from. Okay, let's uh, let's just put something on. Uh, let's put a little uh, token on this fella here. Does um, it get a critical fumble? Does it critically fail the save <laughs> or no? Um, okay. we'll give him we'll give him a little uh little skull and crossbones there just to remind me the next save is minus one four. Um so you, you just kinda reach out the power of your mind and uh, you see it kinda go uh, it kinda shakes it off pretty quick though. Uh, yeah, yeah, it didn't work. And they're not they're not smart enough to really be affected by it. Anything else you'd like to do, right? And then with from from your <laughs> position of safety across the room. <laughs> I can't really do anything with my bonus actions or no. Okay. Um, okay. No cool, cool, cool. Outside. Next up is our mysterious hunter, Shalan. Um, I'm going to um, Hunter's Mark. Is that my bonus action? Why? Okay, bonus action, Hunter's Mark. On whom? Or number one here. Um, oh. This one here. Give me, give me a ping, this fella here. Yes, him. Okay, excellent. Let's uh, give him a little, uh, little broken heart for the, for the Hunter's Mark there. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to uh, hit it with my longbow. Okay, I will do it. Do it. Let's see what 17 I got. 17 plus 2, 19 is a hit. Okay. So, plus 4 to hit, that's nice. Um, and then another 1d6 for bone, uh, damage off Hunter's Mark, right? Yeah, so you, you want to click the longbow there and roll the damage. Oh, yeah. Okay, sorry. All right. Okay. Oh no! If you just you see where you did the seventeen, if you just click the the, the actual word longbow. Oh. That will only damage for you. That's you four go. piercing plus. Then you can roll a d six on the left. Yeah. One d six. Did you, uh, as a so giant ambusher, you should get extra damage? Did you apply that? Um. Nice. Third level, did it, sorry about this. I've never played no, a ranger it's before. No problem. No, you're fine. This oh, is yeah, specifically. Oh yeah, so it does take another one d eight. Yeah, another one d eight. Okay, so you can yeah. roll that. Sorry about that. It's no problem. Find the oh, 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 it's another five. So what was that? Thank that was... you for that. That was. You no worries. I played one in a one shot again, so I kind of know. Four what the and two is are. six, and five is eleven. So as you you sort of from your position of relative um. A relative hiding you kind of draw back your bow and release the arrow and whatever could sort of misty energy you've attached to this you just see the arrow sort of take a slight kind of kind of um course change and it just goes straight into the neck and it screeches and it kind of kind of turns to try and bite it but it can't quite reach the arrow so what was that i already read it out four and two six and five is 11 points of damage um and it turns it spins to face you um, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna yeah, try and move time. back into here. Okay, no problem. But that uh, would not provoke an opportunity to attack both of them or just one? Is that? What? Would that not provoke, provoke an opportunity to attack from both no, of she, them? No, she hasn't left her reach. Has she? Yeah, no. No, their reach is like five foot. It's just Tusk. Oh, right. Um, anyway, I want to hide. Yeah, she was looking. Oh, she looked, oh um, wait, no, I can't used, do that. Yeah, yeah you've used your action, yeah. unfortunately. Anyway, yeah. so I'm move, moving in. Okay. There, and that's me. Okay, so you kind of duck down the trails. Elvis. Yeah. Like, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. <laughs> um, if I okay. can't see them, they can't see me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've tried it. It doesn't work. Scales Tiller. All right. You're up. Uh, Scales is going to rage. Okay. Uh, so that's a bonus action. I'm just going to put a little thingy where I remember it. Uh... 
you got 25 feet to get there to get the flank okay yeah <laughs> and then bash it with the morning star excellent so it's the scales oh. and as we've discussed before and fortunately Fona can't be with us tonight because of internet problems her uh, scales is rage his rage is just sort of this uh, hyper focus it's not this kind of crazy chaos berserker mm. shit it's just it just gets this hyper focus and gets eerily calm as she just sort of stalks towards this creature with purpose. the way i've imagined it is that the dragon the slits in the dragon eyes like that dragonborn has go from like kind of like wide-ish to just like snake narrow nice okay scales uh it's a 19 to hit for sorry eight, yes that eight, will eight, that eight. will do it so you swing so you swing your morning sorry connects square on the side of this thing's massive head and it kind of shakes you hear a crack it shakes his head um it looks like it hurt, but uh, it's still going, and it's still so very angry. Uh, yeah, that would be scales in tight turn. Okay, uh, Robert Seth Cooper, you were up, my friend. Robert's like, I already have it drawn. Um, he's gonna maybe do it from another angle. No, 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 no. Uh, he uh, is gonna resort back to his army days and oh. leave no man behind. <laughs> Don't drag me across the river. Oh, no, wait, no. Uh, for now. He's gonna, like, mm. uh, run to there. Okay. And... Wait, that boar's still alive? Yeah, okay, as he's running, like, before he runs away, he's gonna chuck a, another dagger at it. No problem, you can certainly do that. I have to remember to fetch those. Uh, yeah. <laughs> How many do you carry? That that is my last one. Fucking so. Twenty-three to hit. Excellent. Yeah, that is definitely it. So that's another twelve points of damage. As the as the uh, as the, almost like as an afterthought, you're just running to go. Oh yeah, and it just you just <laughs> flick it from your wrist, and with just this wrist. unerring uh, speed and accuracy, it just hits it square in the neck again, joining one of the arrows yeah, that already you- is. Uh, sat there, so that's 12 points of damage. Yeah. Um, it's, not, actually, it's not looking great. Despite his small frame, Robert actually has some lightning fast hands. <laughs> yeah, as we just witnessed, absolutely. Um, anything else you'd like to do? The old lady should be interested again. Yeah. <laughs> Robert Seth Cooper, anything else you'd like to do to your turn? Uh, do I want to dash? I'm gonna. You can dash take if you my, want. No, I'm gonna take my. Can I take my bonus action to hide, duck in behind this tree and hide? Can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, do I need to make a stealth? Friend. You need to beat an ace. They all have a passive perception of eight. You think so they have better I... senses of smell with so... those massive fucking noses? Yeah, I know, if... right? Yeah, if I roll a one, I succeed. Uh, excellent. <laughs> okay. No, because well, no, if you roll a one, you still fail because it's a critical yeah. failure. Yeah, anyway, so, um, yes, yeah, so you feel... Um, you feel sufficiently hidden, Robert. Uh, moving up, oh, it's I'm, this uh, giant boar here. Sorry, yeah. I am keeping an eye on a uh, Fenari. Okay, understood. Uh, this giant boar uh, here is going to move. It's going to charge at a Scales Tiller. Mm. And it moves straight up here. Um, and it's not going to be pretty. Nope. Oh, no, because oh, we can flank, it can flank. Ah. Uh, yeah, but also if the boar moves at least 20 feet straight for, uh, straight toward the target and then hits with a tusk attack, the target takes an extra 2d6 slashing damage. If the target is a creature, it must succeed in a DC 13 strength saving throw or be knocked prone. So let's see how this works. Tusk. Be careful, you don't want one of those tusks to bore that is a uh, That is a 20 <laughs> to hit. It just hits. Seven. Well, isn't that just gore? Just no. an extra two d six. That is eighteen points of damage. Uh, half, half to nine. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry, yeah, half to nine, and then you can uh, roll me DC thirteen uh, strength saving throw, or you will be knocked prone. Actually, yeah. you oh, are sorry, not scared. I, 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 sorry, I rolled it off my sheet. Okay. Right, I rolled okay. it off the sheet. Sorry. No problem. Uh, no problem. There's scales. 
It helps it have advantages. It's barbarian as well. Raging. Uh, you would have advantages in a strength saving throw. Good call. So that's a 25. So we're um, yeah, Scales just takes the hit and just looks around. <laughs> Pays it no heed. Um, so yeah, you've taken nine points of damage. Uh, this fellow here. So I'm going to see if he can do the same to, uh, to Jaden, which he will straight through. Now, um, so he, it, it, it is charging. Mm. So um, how do you guys feel? I would argue that because it's charging, you wouldn't get that. How do you feel Are about you, that? Well, maybe what? a disadvantage, I'd say. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, it's fair enough. Yeah, well, yeah, it's fair enough. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so I suppose there's, there's two bits to this. One is there's the ready to attack, and then two there's the polar master. The polar master and yeah, that's fair. Go oh, for so, it. So, so if it's one of the two, or, or yeah, both. you would normally get two attacks, but like yeah, it's not, you maybe so one um, so you're ready to attack, um, yeah, and then if you want to do the bonus action at disadvantage, that's a good idea, right? Yeah. Chat saying they're loving the mods. Um, Commitment. Yeah, we will. The fake teeth. <laughs> we've all taken our, we've all taken our, our, our get up say, off. Well done. Thank you. Well done. That is a 15. Then, that, yes, they are fake. That hits. If they are. Cool. For so nine slashing. For nine. Yeah. Okay. As this, okay, as this cast spell. monstrosity just charges towards you, you can feel the ground shaking. You you take your position as you, as you did in the army, kind of set the pole arm to receive that charge and it just sort of it kind of dodges at the, at the last minute and almost impales itself you can see a nasty gash just right across one of the uh, shoulders um uh, that was your main attack was it that was the readied attack, uh, attack. So do you now, want to take your your bonus action then the, the, the pole arm yeah, yeah. Uh, um okay cool no, we're saying, we're, we're can you ready a bonus that... action though i don't think you can can you no no, no. But sorry sorry you not, can not... ready a main action Sorry, the the opportunity attack when it when it enters. Sorry, oh, of course, yeah. Enters. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right. Sorry. So you can take that. Uh, I just want to say uh, that opportunity attack takes a reaction, but unleashing your held action is also a reaction. Oh, uh, very true, actually. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good call. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Oh, no, no. Like, Appreciate that. Yeah, Excellent yeah, stuff. Yeah, so, 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 so that's that. So let's move in with its attack then um, uh, for the charge. It's gonna hit you with the tusk. That is a nine to hit. A nine doesn't hit. Okay, so um, stop short by the by the by the the um, the polar arm that's set to receive that charge. It's it 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 its momentum is just absolutely destroyed. It stands there and it's just kind of breathing heavily. Uh, next up is. Oh, sorry, that was that guy there. Next up is. Oh, why is everyone twenty feet away from this Fenar, what would you like to do? So, <laughs> just not drown. Yeah, that's, a, that's a main objective, is not to drown. Okay, so, excellent. That's, that's always a... That would be nice. That, that's, that's a commendable goal. Keep swimming, just keep okay, so swimming. I'm going to... No, yeah, I'm going to spend my key point. And, you, you, you're going to spend a key point, okay. Yeah, for a slip of the wind, just to go down and just rocket myself out of the water see if i can do that okay so your movement is uh 30 feet no it's 45 45 sorry okay and yeah, yeah. yeah look let's give you let's give you an acrobatics check and see how you do with this you're going to spend a key point on roll a one yeah just don't if it, if it does now I'll do it. Um, yeah. don't do it oh, oh. A one. <laughs> i'm gonna well it's not I'm a gonna... one well, it's only one. <laughs> I'm gonna use my inspiration to let him roll again. Oh. How does that work? I, uh, I can use my inspiration on other people. Are you reverse? Inspira- no, I, you no, gave me inspiration. inspiration oh, like, sorry, your inspiration point. Inspiration. Sorry, yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. From the, from, from the last game. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go yeah, ahead. So, seeing as he's struggling, I'm gonna. I don't have any more daggers. Okay, yeah. I'm just gonna <laughs> cheer him on. Oh, my God. D Ray and Geronio in the chat says white monks can't swim. Uh, oh, <laughs> He's an elf. He technically doesn't count as white. <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's let's uh, go again. I mean, no, that's better. Let's say twelve. Enough. I mean, a twelve is good enough for for, for me. I'm gonna see you, you make it up to here. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't know okay. how I helped him, but I helped. 
You did. I wanted to say I threw a dagger into a wall to give him like a like a stepping. Didn't you say you use your last dagger on that? But yeah, that's. Or even just like a you can do it. Yeah. <laughs> from, you from, can do it. from your you hidden point in the trees. <laughs> I'm I was in like, there, baby. Where, where did that come from? <laughs> uh, so so after Fanar just finally got out of the water, he just doesn't know what to do and. Wait, that, is, okay, that Robert. was his um, bonus action for the um, step of the wind, so I still have movement. Okay, go for it. Uh, <laughs> right. it's, you can just get up to there then. Uh, the season come out with it, like, my yeah, old enemy. It's going to be like, enjoy your swim. Uh, the trunk. I, I want to do it. I want to take my action to dash. Okay. Please, please roll another nat one. Okay, let's do this. Here so we go. Uh, we meet again, uh, my nemesis. I'm just gonna use my reaction to write down. Oh yes. Yeah, excellent, exactly. excellent. Now you've Yay. got the measure of this thing. You avoid uh, <laughs> <laughs> you you avoid the dodgy areas of it, and uh, you go. make your way across. Well done. Uh, I um, would just like to use my reaction to write down. Uh, Inability to swim would be a great character flaw. <laughs> you hear a faint like, scribbling like, from the trees. <laughs> but no, it's just like, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. you guys are busy. I think I think Ren might have been the only person that saw that. Um, yeah. Uh, Robert, obviously, Robert ran back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, he doesn't know exactly how or what or how yeah, he just, he just heard the, the failure heard was. The yeah. Okay, Fenara, next up is this giant boar here. This is going to take a Any way you can work on this. Flag. No, it's going to just it's just going to make a tusk attack at you. Uh, here we go. It bears in. It's looking very badly wounded, um, but it's still it's got that urge to fight and survive. It's uh, that's a seventeen to hit. It hits. Okay, that is eleven points of slashing damage. As it as as its two tusks just just catch underneath the direwolf's chin, and tear a flap of skin open, right in the lower jaw area there. Ah, uh, poor dog. Um, and that is all it can. I mean, it can move, but it's not. It's not going to move. Moving along to this fellow here who is dead. Uh, we're up to the mud. All right, I am just going to try and finish him off. Okay. Well, I will hit. Uh, that is a 13. 13, I think will do it. That's AC 12, yeah. All right. So 12 piercing. 12 piercing. As it's it's sort of on its last legs, and you and finally gain the upper hand with this thing, and uh, it, it's sort of, it, it one leg kind of falls beneath it, and it exposes its, its neck area and its, and its chest. And the direwolf just clamps its huge jaws around the neck and just rips. You're this sickening crunch of bone and tearing of flesh. And you see this splash of blood across the uh, across the forest floor here as this giant direwolf just tears the throat out of the giant boar. Yay, bonus action on chewing. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> it is um it is very chewy. That's okay. <laughs> Excellent. Is, is that all for your, for your turn? That's the turn, yes. Excellent stuff, Lumud. Uh We're back to Jaden. Cool. Having. Did you, did you take the D4 from the saving throw, by the way? Uh, it doesn't really really matter, me. but yeah. Jaden. Was that me? You were asking, or was that. No, no it was Dave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah was I just remembered it was dead, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, cool. So, 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 ha having taken the brunt of the charge and gone back a yeah. couple of feet, having planted the, the back end of the, the glaive into the ground to, to do that, um, he's going to kind of pop the back end up uh, and and swing the sharp end round, um, and we're going to see if that hits. And I'm going to then do a use the bonus and if that hits, yeah, thirteen will hit. Thirteen for four, but I get to reroll with uh, my. There was a one. So one plus three, but I got to reroll the one. So that is the D ten instead. So that's eight plus three for eleven. Then I'm going to use start the... throwing some more powerful enemies at you guys. Jesus. Okay. Then the back end will be um, just throw more logs of an arrow. Plus 
So this is just mm-hmm. just for the back end. So that's the eight to see if it hits, which it does. So that's a one d four plus. Uh, but I get to reroll that because. Yep. Master. So two plus um, two, two plus three, so five. So eleven plus five. And then going to use my action search. So you've done sixteen point. Did you say that you did eleven plus five? That was eleven first for the for, for the sharp end. Yeah. Plus five for the back end. So minus five. Okay. Cool. Then action surge to do exactly the same again. Yeah. Okay. Because I get an action. Uh, yeah, you get your full range. Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You get so, the full range. It's just a whole new action. So here we go again. <laughs> That has to be the best full arm fighter I've ever uh, seen. It's just nice. ridiculous. And so I have your just... measure there now, so it's. <laughs> it, so things the, are going to get harder. The 10 flat, uh, no rerolls on that. Um, so that's 25 total. 25 uh, total. I mean, that's, total. A, that's as much as you need to do. No, no, with, no, with no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, keep going. <laughs> or you can use your movement and use the other attack. No. <laughs> okay, well, keep going, <laughs> yeah. keep going, keep going. He's going to so, hit. He's gonna beat the dead boy. Yeah, that's it. Exactly. Twenty to hit hits. Twenty to hit, so d four. I get to reroll ones and twos, so yeah. Look, it's it's, it's the whatever it is. No, no, no. Let's sort it up. Let's sort it up. Twenty nine points of damage. Nice. Okay, so it is. Uh, it's actually yeah. So you let me just see. So yeah, it's, it's I think it's at minus twenty twenty one. <laughs> you really didn't use it. So you are you oh, almost no. yeah. Forge We're back. War cleric. Yep. We're back. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, just uh, some technical uh, trouble, but we are back. Twitch, um, Twitch couldn't uh, handle the amount of damage you're putting out. Yeah, I believe it. I, I think everybody's having issues right now. Yeah, I, I, I think, think it's it a site wide problem. Yeah. Um. Cool. So here we are. We're back. Let me just. Uh, just and thank yeah. you for sticking with us. As Absolutely. Well. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. Guys. Appreciate. Are, it. Are, are we back? It's not showing up on my. Yep. Yeah, yeah, we're back here now. Cool, cool, cool. So, um, you guys, um, what you guys missed was um, Ren uh, basically shooting a firebolt up uh, a giant boar's arse and he for two points of damage. Just for the fact that it's a boar and animals tend to react when they get hit hit with like hot objects in the the rear. Would you like it to run straight toward Jaden? No, I'd like to run straight towards the trees if possible. (laughs) No, I don't know. I'm in the trees. Please okay, guess. Ren. <laughs> Over there in the trees. Uh, anything else you'd like to do, Ren? Uh, no, I'm going to stay here. Shalan. From uh, your covert position in the trees in the southeast of this battle map, what would you like to do? I think you're muted. Sorry about there that. You go. Right. Um. Okay, so I am going to... This fella here... Oh my god, this thing hates me. There we go. Yeah, your man. He has yeah. the hunter's mark on him, doesn't he? Um, no, it was this fella here. Ah. Uh, you can move you can, that. Can't you, you can move that. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna move move it as a. I can do that as a bonus, right? I think so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I can't seem to click my token anymore. Should I? Um, have you got the right things? Oh on wait, the left no, selected? no, 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 no. I don't. I was <laughs> using the measuring tool. Yeah, thing, I, we've so. we've all done it. Yeah. <laughs> I do it. Um, and will again. Now. Okay, so I am going to, um, I've moved my hunter's mark yep. and I'm going to fire my longbow at um, Pimba, Pumba 2. <laughs> okay, no and worries. Able to hit. I still have my dread ambusher, right? So um, does, that, does that work once you've revealed yourself? Let me just see. But look, I, I don't know. Sure yeah, but it a... says at the start of, uh, uh, at the start of your first turn of each, of each combat, you're no, no, no. Oh, okay. yeah, so, yeah. So you've revealed yourself, so that's yeah. That doesn't okay. apply anymore. All right, I'm gonna just cool. smash him with my smash, smashy, bow. nicey, nicey. You smash with a bow. Yep. So, do you have a punching boxing glove arrow? Twenty-three plus two is a uh, yeah. That's a definite hit. Okay, so okay, you guys so. just hear more than see this. <laughs> As this arrow just embeds itself in the side of this boar, so you click. There you go. That is eight mark. points of damage plus your hunter's mark, uh, which is one d six, right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Two. 
10 eight. points of damage. Oh, 10, um, sorry. Yeah, I can't even count. <laughs> it shrieks, and uh, and it, you can see it looking from side to side now. It's uh, it's thinking about survival, and it's thinking about getting the fuck out of here. Um, but that. unfortunately, is there anything else you'd like to do, Shalan? Uh, can I? No, I've used my bonus action to move the hunter's mark, right? So I can't yep. really like do anything else. I'm do just gonna go back into movement? the trees here. Okay, excellent. <laughs> okay, no problem. Moving on. Uh, scales. Hidden. Yeah. All right. So just before uh, Scales takes his turn, uh, Dave Jet just wants to know if you remember to sacrifice a goat for the stream to make sure everything goes well. Oh man, no, we I forgot the goat. I sacrifice a boar, um, and I, I, I think I <laughs> oh, got the, I think I got the incantation wrong, um, because it's, it's not worked out for me. But uh, next time, <laughs> cool. So scales is just going to strike with the morning star. Okay, you know, rolled it. Okay. Oh, sorry, I rolled advantage, but that's fine. I mean, well, it's reckless attack, you know. Uh, did you say? Did you say it was a reckless attack? No, I didn't. So twelve. Okay. 12 to hit is a hit. That is the creatures I see. 12 points bludgeoning. Okay. And uh, again, oh. you hear this sickening crack as it uh, as it just swings up. This kind of uppercut movement, and you just see, see kind of several teeth in, in the bottom row of its jaw just kind of shatter and just fall out. Cool. And then offhand with the sickle. A 10 is. 10 or uh, miss. No, it was... Could have went reckless for that one, but... Anything else scales? Nothing there is. Anything Nothing else. else. Oh, okay. you know what? Yeah? Uh, I'll move five feet to give uh, Jaden the flank. Okay, excellent. Uh, next up, Robert Seth Cooper. Robert is From your art studio to... in the trees. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna drop down and uh, run full speed. On this action dash to get uh, right here next to scales and Excellent. i'm not gonna attack the boar i'm actually gonna put my hand on scales's hand to try and prevent him from attacking the boar any further and say like just let it run it wants to leave just just let it run okay um is this just flavor or are you going to try and restrain scales i'm gonna try and de-escalate everyone to just let this thing get okay. out of here. Um, well, if that's all you're going to do is just say, let it go, let it go, um, a la Frozen, <laughs> um, <laughs> you can. But I mean, if you want to, if you, if you, if you want to really ORP this, I mean, let's do it. Let's... Let it be. Let's I, I, let it be. I am like... <laughs> I'm putting my hand on top of the sword hand of, or okay. mace or sickle hand or claw or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, do dragonborns yeah. have hands or are they claws? Um, okay, so probably too little too late. The scales is just taking a turn, but I mean you can, I mean you can direct that sentiment at at, uh, at Finar, who is next up, or Jaden or Lamud. Yeah, but I mean they seem like like like. I'm not gonna physically try to stop them because okay. they 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 seem level-headed enough. The only one I'm okay. So you about guys hear, you, you guys hear this, um, and it's it's up to you as to as to how you want to uh, as to how you want to react to that. And it is the giant boar's turn next. So if there's nothing else, Robert. Okay, no the boar gores Robert immediately. <laughs> it's like, the, giant no, boar, the giant boar is going to it's going to double dash and it's going to go uh, it's double dash will take it off the map unless um, somebody decides to take it off this earth uh, do I get damage. an attack of opportunity or anything uh, no, you not close won't enough? because it's not yet it's not moved out of your reach but okay. Jaden, Robert and Scales will get to use a reaction if they haven't used a reaction already this turn uh, so let's so just Dave, leave it. Let's just leave it here. Uh, so Dave, you know more about scales. Uh, pushing she would probably swing. Do. Would would she swing? She's in a rage. Probably, yeah. Yeah. Rage. Yeah. So she's focused. Maybe I can try to blind her. 
<laughs> All right, so oh, Scales is a dude, by the way. Just uh, I think oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, keep forgetting. Uh, no, you're fine. It's, yeah, okay. So, yeah, I'm gonna take that as Scales would swing. Okay, roll to hit. Uh, not very close. That uh, is so a 12. What, that's a, 12, that's a creature's AC. <laughs> 10 damage again. 10 damage again. Okay. So you take the swing and you take uh, one of the back legs out, you just completely ruin it. You hear it again. You hear the sickening crunch of bone and a shriek from the creature as its as its back uh, its back left leg um, just absolutely looks completely destroyed and shattered. Um, I mean, it could have been still, non-lethal damage. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, still if Robert got hurt him at all. Um, not your not not your your rage, I yeah. would imagine. So it gets to there unless uh, uh, Jaden. So at so Jaden. <laughs> this would, would probably have. have well, yeah, that, I was thinking two things. One, yeah, it needs to be put out of its misery now because it won't ever, you know, Walk survive again. in the wild anyway. But then, but then two, he's probably far more focused about the arrow that just appeared over his shoulder. So he yeah. sees this thing go. Uh, he's gonna, he's gonna let it, and he's gonna go searching for whatever shot an arrow at him, at them. Hey. Who knows? Um, this person has not uh, used an action to stealth, so you can you can see them. They're badly hiding behind a tree. Like, like as you look over, you've caught them dead square in the act of looking around the tree, and <laughs> you make eye contact. <laughs> and then I suppose it's a question of: uh, oh, is, sorry, uh, uh, Are we still in initiative order or not? Because that was just uh, was I reacting? Oh, sorry. To... Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, that would have been your reaction. Say just to maybe take a look. Um, Giant boar, giant boar, Fenar. Okay, so Fenar is still disappointed in his acrobatics, and he's going to try to chase after the boar because, yeah, why not? Okay, uh, you can probably move the full length of this battle map given you're a fucking monk. And a boar elf. I can't swim. <laughs> so he he doesn't know about this character, but as soon as he gets here, does he see her? Uh, you would, yeah, yeah. She's okay. Very uh, obviously, trip him uh, as he runs by. You <laughs> 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 didn't go with him, uh, Okay, so. Yeah, but he... Oh, we didn't. No. <laughs> uh, he's now deciding for new character. Uh, oh. And that's... Uh, he's going to dash the boar. Hmm. going to dash the boar, okay. Uh, so that's your bonus action, leaves you with your action to attack it, does it? Yeah, 45 uh, will get you there. Well, if I spend the... Yeah, oh, I'm just going to stay there. Maybe rather stay there. Oh. So you're not going to move the action. boar? You can spend your action to dash the boar, and then if it leaves your range, you can take a reaction attack on it. Maybe. That's your buddy. He's not like he see this person. He doesn't know if it's a friendly or anything. So. Okay. Playing safe. Okay. So do you want to hold your action then? Yeah. Okay. No problem. Um, Lamud. Mm. You're up, my friend. Yeah. So from where I am, I'm assuming I can see this new character. Uh. Yes. You. Yeah. Yeah. You can. Yeah. Everybody can. Yeah. Hey! Why not? Uh, yeah, so he's just gonna wind his way uh, past the bo- uh, the dead boars, past uh, the allies, uh, up to there and just take up a a defensive okay. stance. No problem. Kind of interposing between this unknown and... Shalam, what? you see this, this giant dire wolf. Who's clearly taken some 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 heavy damage uh, in battle? It's kind of flaps his skin, missing from the lower jaw. Uh, you can see you can see kind of a, a glint of white through the the, uh, the skin where the the, the the kind of chest bone would be, um, and it takes up this sort of uh, defensive stance between you and the, these two warriors here. Is that it for you, Lamud? That is it, Jaden. Yeah, um, Jaden's gonna come around ever so slightly. Um, I go, drop the boat. 
and see, and see what happens. Uh, and he's gonna semi semi ready the the glaive, but not have it out and, and threatening, but just okay. At this point, yeah. I'm gonna yeah. take us out out of the initiative order. Okay. Yeah. If, uh, yeah. I was gonna shoot the boar. If you guys, no if you happened. if you still want no. to annihilate the boar, <laughs> feel free to take an attack action outside of initiative. Yeah, Brand uh, Brandon. Can I do so? Uh, can I can I shoot it? Yeah, you certainly can. You probably have to move a little bit. Yeah. To get a shot at it, like I would say, but, you like, have to move here? to. The, yeah, yeah, that'll out, do it. Out of flavor, can I time Ren firing a fireball at the same time? You Just certainly can, like, yeah. yeah. You can both roll to hit at the same time if you wish. 17. Oh, damn. And a 6. Um, on 6 plus 2 is 8. Uh, so, unfortunately, no, your arrow shoots by. But you, does it, it have does, my uh, hunter's mark on it? Or? That, it that one, uh, uh, it, it did. Does. It moved it over to that one. Yeah, yeah, it does, yeah. yeah. So, what is that? You uh, have to hit to actually do that. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, to, yeah, to, yeah. To do that. Sorry, okay. yeah. But, but so, you, can, you have advantage on tracking it for the next hour. Oh, great. Yeah, we can yeah. hunt that bastard. Yeah, you can track it straight to the barbecue because Ren's hit it. Um, yeah. So that's a 17. So as you as you draw back to fire, you see this fireball, this, this streak of fire just shoot past you. And it just momentarily distracts you as you let fly with the arrow. It shoots off through the trees. You hear a faint. <laughs> you hit a squ squirrel or something. Dinner. Um, and, <laughs> uh, here. Uh, Ren, yeah, the firebolt just shrieks past everyone, um, singeing uh, Scales' hair as it shoots past <laughs> and hits. Um, so, uh, yeah, she's. I'm sure she's got some some, some wizard. Seven hair? points of damage. <laughs> oh, this poor bastard. Um, He's yeah, still not like, dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's He's clinging to, on to life. It's down to one hit point. Oh wow! Uh, I mean, so, like, well, it could be on fire. Um, so. no, well, um, no, it is, it's, it's badly scorched and it's, it, it's, it's, it's an, it's, the poor thing is an absolute heap, um, but it's still, it's still kind of trying to crawl, but it's like can one I throw remaining leg. Can I throw a dagger at it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of right. yeah. Ren looks, looks again and fires I mean, you could, oh, you could, sh like, you could literally walk up and cut a straw at this stage. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay, no problem. So dagger. move your token up to the up to the thing. And you guys see this elf. You don't even need to roll the hit. Oh sorry, that's that's Ren. Um yeah, another one so, yeah, off. you 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 just draw the, the dagger across its throat. As Could you do that, you see see another bolt of arcane fire just hit it. And it begins to, to I, I just assume Does that it just also hit river, me? I can't hear anything. No, it doesn't hit you, no. I just okay. assume that since the river's rushing, I can't hear anything that's been said on the other side. So I'm just like, is it okay. dead? Um, and that is the end of your combat. That was, uh, <laughs> that was disturbing. Barbecue, <laughs> man. And uh, I'm going to try and make it across this. Do I need to make a dex? You certainly do, my friend. If everyone else did, you do. No, I was just wondering, because we're not in yeah. combat, so if I could take my time more. Hey, you um, can. You can take your time. I'll give you advantage on it. Grand. Can I start like harvesting meat from this boar that I just killed? You definitely can. You can I harvest check. my daggers back from the boar. Uh, that's all. Everyone, hang on. Let's let let yeah. Ren give me my the two acrobatic shifts sure. first. Don't sure. roll double yeah. ones like last time, Ren. Please roll Please. double ones. That was funny. <laughs> I made oh, a clip of drink, that last Ren. stream, so not much better. I mean, that's not great. Here um, we go. I'm gonna say it, you you make it across, but it's it's. I slip at one point. And I was it's definitely that, not but... graceful. And at one point, yeah, you do slip and you have to do that kind of Bear grills thing where you've got like your one leg kind of um, <laughs> curled up around the thing and you're just sort of hugging your way across it. Um, it, does, <laughs> it does not look <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, very woodsman-like. Um, okay, so that's... Did the stream go down again? You're doing that. No, no, it was just me. No, that's just the viewer count. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 30 at one um, point. I won't so, complain. We had 72 oh, no. at one point. I won't we complain. Did. Yeah, but okay, that was guys, the so let's let, let's take it down every second. So, um, what you so Jaden, you look across and you see uh Shalan there, and she's sort of ex expertly uh butchering this creature. And she's like she's begun with skinning, and then she opens up a um, a kind of a, a, a big kind of a, a, um, a, a gash in its in its stomach and begins kind of pulling pulling out the guts and things like that. Yeah, I'm gonna look at Lamut and just kind of sh shrug my shoulders and. Kind of going. What about us? Yeah. You know, she's completely ignored the fact that we've been here. I'm she absolutely going, has, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> yeah, I'm going right right 
Lemur, just but, just before music. anybody says anything, I go yeah. like I, I pull out a choice piece and say, "Hey guys, want a piece?" and just throw it over on onto the grass and like carry on harvesting. Is this piece already? Cooked? I mean, it, it looks I like mean, a prime piece of meat, but it's now got stuff on it. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, Jaden Lemud would just give you, you know, that puppy dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yes, yeah, so, so so I'm gonna I'm gonna go over now. Uh, so obviously, like he, he gets sense that. This was her focus, fine, but you know, still not cool to sh- shoot our arrow- arrows towards people. Um, and and so I was going, uh, hello, excuse me, yes, hi, um, can I help you? Can we help you? No, we, we, well, <laughs> well, we are dead. I mean, not really. I, I, I mean, pretty I, much I, had I... this whole thing covered. Uh, you almost you, got did, me with your you... your firebolt. I don't did know you not what see what about. I did to that one? I, I, I exploded it with lightning. Yeah, I saw. I was, well, I was pretty nearby, so... Uh, you probably yeah. heard, too. That was loud. Yeah, guys, we should really... Uh, if there's other things in this wood, they, they're going to be coming. Um, that was loud. You guys hungry? I, uh, I step out behind Jaden with my notebook. And... Do you, um... Do you hunt these things often? Eh... They're on my way, I suppose. What I've heard some tale of... that there's there's some goblins um, that are getting notions about themselves, and I've been sent to sort them out. You no, guys are already, of, of no importance to me. I'm just I'm just on my way. We, we kind of already took care of the local goblin problem. Um, so, oh really? Uh, yeah. So it's, uh, it, oh, I mean, as far as I'm as far as I'm aware, there's, there shouldn't be any left. I mean, we cleared some of them out. We've cleared a few out on the. Uh, so, so Shalan, that the, the description that they give to you, um, it doesn't correlate with with the with the uh, with the intel that you've been with given. With my and, instructions. Yeah, and the reason that you've been sent, like the force they describe, would probably be five percent of the activity that that has been described to you so while it may be you know one one arm of this entire force you're you're you've been sent to scout and to return with as much and and as as detailed information as you can um so obviously there from what you can gather from what they've told you there's there's something else directing these these separate forces um to to come back to the the boars, what kind of um, what kind of nests do they have? Do they live in caves I should, or? I should know uh, that, right? You would, yeah. I mean, you want to give me? I mean, I, I'm not like not even going to ask for a survival check. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I, I mean, they they would tend to kind of, you know, kind of make these kind of burrows or nests in in kind of uh, creeks or ridges and stuff like that. So it's at, it's at this point uh, Lamut would uh, move up to Robert and kind of nudge him with his head. And I don't know if you've seen it, but if you try to put one of those doggy coats on a dog and they roll <laughs> around on their back trying to get it off. So Lamut yeah. is going to do that and try to get the uh, bandana that's around his neck off. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, but, uh, right, you need some help there, dude? The, um... Are you okay? Do you need help? He's, like, he's he's okay, um, but but actually, yeah. Um, oh. You've been in the area a little bit, have you? Sorry, guys. I'll be right back in a second. I've been around. Yeah, no I've been around. Um, so so we're actually <laughs> we're we're not here by by chance. Um, you haven't come across a young child in the woods yet. I know it it, it sounds like an odd uh, an odd question, but um, nothing like that. Uh, young young boy. What can a person do you take me for that would leave a child alone in the woods? Like, can, sure, we... surely you think I would have a child with me if I spotted a happenstance, come across a small child? Maybe. You think I would have left it there? All sorts of people in the woods. Yeah, no, that's fair enough, actually. No, uh, no, no. Okay. not to my knowledge. Not to my knowledge. Okay. I haven't well, seen. Uh, fair enough. So I don't think good. I have, have I? Absolutely I... not. Absolutely not. not. Yeah. Yeah, okay. you would have done exactly as you said. Okay. Anyone else um, like to address? Do you, our do you need help visitor? with finding the child? Well, Is it missing, or what? What do you? Well, what do well, you well, guys? Well, that's, do? That, that's why we're here. That's why we've kind of. That's why I've we're still, in, I've, in the woods. I've like rolled up my leather armor, and I'm still like guts deep in this boar. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. while I'm chatting to you. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, just... yeah. She's just like, here, hold this. 
Yeah. Anything that she's throwing away that I can see that she's not specifically, you know, butchering, I'm eating. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, it's, 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 it's all kind of, they, like all the, the unwanted parts, like the guts mm. and things like that. Yeah, but, but I, I, threw, I, I threw, threw you would know a not choice eat piece. I threw oh, yes, a nice choice mm. piece that, that Lamont could have. Yeah, well, Robert it's, yeah, would, it's, it's, would also be a it, like, yeah, peeking over her shoulder as she's doing this, <laughs> taking okay. notes of. You hear some this, this kind of faint scribbling behind you. Unfazed, I'm I'm mm. still chatting yeah, to Jaden about yeah. task oriented. And, and why are you in the woods, if you don't mind us asking? Well, that's for me to know. I mean. I, you, you seem quite capable, and uh, I am capable. You, you don't seem like you, you're necessarily living locally. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I don't think I'm too far. I am. Um, oh, you are. You're. You're. You're, just, I... you're, you're, you're months away. Okay. <laughs> so the elven nation of Calaril really? is 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 the northwest of right. the continent, and okay. you you're in the northeast. So you've you oh you, I've you, traveled you've, across you, the you've traversed the, the whole mountain range. Um, um, it was as respectful as as, as I could put it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it hasn't yeah, well, felt that long, is what I'm trying to get at. But also, um, I'll stop you there. You do have an elf in, in your party as well. So elves, they're not. Yeah. You know, they're they're not Their all. Their sense you know, of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, mm. but like, but also, they like you know, they, you do see them around as well. So. Yeah. Um, another question: The are we at the war with the elves? No, they um. No. Okay. Um, the conditions with them and like relations with them, um, whereas there would have been uh, an ambassador in Sofarone, um for, for as long as you can remember. There no longer is, and there hasn't been for about twenty or thirty years. There are um, the Elven Nation of Colorado used to uh, it used to be far bigger. Um, they, they like close their borders or something. Like. They they haven't closed their borders. They're just very selective as to who they let through. Oh, okay. Um, but uh, generally, uh, the folk and stuff around they're a dandy sort. Um, if they're traveling, it's usually to the summer states, and um, to get through the vertex, uh, mountains and the vertex pass uh it's like you would really have to have a specific reason to go that far in northwest and it's usually not a holiday um so uh, you know the elves reticence and um the sort of lack of communication hasn't really been noticed that much um although okay. Safron has sort of stopped its 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 expansion to to the northwest um in the in the last hundred years and that's when okay. sort of an un, like uneasy peace was uh, was made, um, but okay. for some reason, the the elven ambassador was not expelled; they were recalled. Okay, so I'm not a uh, uh, suspecting her of being a spy, or well, a uh, you know, kind of what I was. <laughs> okay, yeah, and, I mean, yeah, okay. Did I miss anything seriously important? Nope. Just okay. uh, flavor. Just flavor. <laughs> yeah, no good. Okay, so I think that's might be a good place to take our break, and we might mm. uh, we might pop back and um, figure out who this mysterious visitor is and uh, how you want to proceed. Some of you are fairly beat up. Some of you are untouched because you stayed near the side of the river. Um, and do we feel yeah. any stronger than we were before? Um, you <laughs> certainly might, um, hey. because you Especially have all leveled the, up. The heart of the boars. That's yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, yes, you have all leveled up to level three. Um, our, our elven visitor is already level three, so no fun for you. Um, yep. Get yourself a, a glass of wine or something during the break, and um, <laughs> we will be back in about 10 minutes, or maybe 15. Cool. Thank you. Cool. Thank, Thank you, you guys. Let's see. Is this thing on? Yes, it is. We're back. Um, this is part two of uh, the Saffron Saga, um, which is called... Uh, sorry, it's part two of the stream and not part two of Saffron Saga. Our it's heroes have just um, uh, basically slaughtered a, a whole family of wild boar whose intentions uh, were hitherto unknown and will remain... Oh, uh, whoops, sorry, excuse me. 
sorry about that. Um, uh, whose intentions were hitherto unknown and will remain unknown from now on because they are all dead. Did anyone um, take they speak also, with dead? They also met um, a mysterious and uh, very well skilled in butchery uh, elf who is seems to be on her, her own business here. I'm on my first borer. I'm going to just push past everybody and just go to the second borer over here and, right. and just slit it open and, and start cutting out the As good Robert bits. follows immediately to and i am putting, putting parts of it in yeah you can like... you can see she's this kind of collection of 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 very large leaves um at, at the druid you, you kind of notice they're not native to this forest but she seems to mm-hmm. be sort of packaging them them up with these the the leaves and what looked like to be dried entrails of some of some long dead creature um that, she, that she's kind of using as twine um is, so... is that your camp up on the hill there so do you have um you see that camp there um and it is uh, it, it quite clearly like humans or someone who is not as well versed it is uh, it's and a I'm, scar I'm, in the landscape i'm just going to turn around and say do you think i'm that stupid really i, I don't then, know you so it's hard to tell well yeah you did try fight clearly i know you now solo. um but, so no, i'm not saying you i'm going you're stupid i mean it could be anyone's camp we seem to have all gotten off on the wrong foot here Seems let, so. Let's, re- let, let's reset. I don't know about this we guy. Having... He's like yeah. casting fireballs and shit at me. Like <sighs> not uh, you he, at the board. He has a tendency to do that, and it, yeah, it's it's not great. But look, my name's Jaden. Uh, the rest can introduce Robert. themselves. This is Robert, and uh, I Fener reach out my like Lamud. long dripping bloody hand and say, "Hi, I'm Shallon. Nice Shallon. to meet you." And just like yeah, squelch. After a se- <laughs> he, yeah, he, he hesitates for a second, but yeah, he he does it anyway because this 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 is you know th- there's potential for further information here. So he's trying to keep everything nice and pleasant. Um, so so you're 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 hunting goblins. Yeah, I'm hunting goblins, but now I'm kind of concerned at the fact that you told me there's a child missing in the woods. Um, yep. I was once young and and left in the woods so i know how that feels um uh, where is this did, missing did, child why like well we, we were well we were we were following well, obviously scent. i'm saying where is the missing child how would you know where the missing child was mm-hmm. but uh it actually asks that um can i make a perception check to try and figure out which direction the uh, brain might be in you can make a survival check if you wish to look for tracks. Actually, uh, so I'm still in dial form, so I can. Oh, sorry. Yes, you can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, it, look, it's gonna be. Um, there's there are a lot of conflicting mm-hmm. scents and um, raw body parts and stuff that have sort of contaminated this this trail. So I'm gonna say it's a disadvantage. So it's a straight roll for me then, because yeah. I have advantage on yeah. Mel. As they're doing Ooh. that, Ryan's gonna like approach Jaden and they're uh, kind of like nudge her and is like, should we, should we mention that witch? Uh, that's Do I 15. hear that? I, I whisper it, so. Oh. You might hear that. You're an elf, yeah. <laughs> uh, what's your passive perception, uh, Sean? Probably quite high. 12. Or, yeah, 12. Uh, do you wanna make it? Do you wanna make, try and make a stealth check? I suppose. That's... To beat a 12. Uh, red and right. Oh yeah. Yeah, I I rolled bad. Yeah, so you hear, but yeah, that will be a <laughs> whisper. Yeah, you over here because I'm deafened yeah. by the light. I'm like my ears are still ringing from casting the giant yeah. like lightning orb. <laughs> you overhear that? Yeah, they're talking about. Well, um, Ren mentions a witch. Um, what witch? Uh, then <laughs> Ren just looks at Jaden's like, "Do you want to explain or?" Sure. Yeah, uh, and I'll give her the rundown of, I suppose, with the, the kids of, of what the kids are um, ex- experiencing in in the town. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So he tells you all about the children. Um, uh, uh, what the well, the, the tale was delivered by children, and it's about mm. children. So it's um, it's accuracy or could could be up for debate, but um, it's basically a story about how some sort of um, a horrific old woman is visiting them in their sleep and not allowing them to sleep and driving them insane and so much so that one child killed its parents 
um, survived and uh, has been brought to the capital city for um, evaluation. I really like, I really like how we call children it in this campaign. Yeah. yeah. Freaking hate I, I'm being honest. I'm kind of <laughs> well, honest to God, that, like without I've been I've been, I've been given out to before for like referring to children as it because I'm not. We don't <laughs> we don't have any here. We've a dog. <laughs> That's it. That's better. So, uh, my experience yeah, with them is rather limited. Choice. Um, yeah, and, and so uh, ha- having relayed, I suppose, the bare bones or or, or or the facts that we could out of all of that, it'll be very much a case of, and and, and you know, there may or may not be truth to that and we're, we're having a look at that too but this is one of the threads we're pulling on it I don't like that I mean, um, it's, it's, important it's important to remember as well it's important to remember as well that the meadery the the, uh, the owner of the meadery um, told you that his son went into the into this forest looking for for, for, for new mm-hmm. sources of honey looking for new bees nests uh, can I actually yeah. uh, make like a investigation check or something to see yeah. if I can spot any bees nests or uh, you can certainly try I would um I mean you can yeah you can make perception check for the general area around you or you can use survival to maybe poke a little bit further off the map maybe and, so, and then my perception of 15 did I sorry apologies yeah your, your perception is 15. There, there is a there's a faint scent heading to the southeast. Go down the way the boar is trying to escape. Yeah. Then I'm assuming by this time we can say that my wild shape would have dropped as well. Yep. I, you I can choose also... to drop it as well, can't you? Yeah, I but I'm saying yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes been spent now, you know, with yeah. No, that's fine. What, yeah. What's Lamud's race? Uh, fork. Uh, I'm a. Uh, yeah, so you would see the wolf. Uh, you know, shape begin to uh, shrink, uh, the fur kind of, you know, falling off like it's uh, shedding in a very rapid, um, accelerated fashion. <laughs> and then, yeah, it just goes back into normal limit, uh, half orc, you know, standing about six foot tall, but very uh, slender for a half orc. He didn't I go just... to the gym. You just see me, <laughs> he missed arm day. Um, and leg day, and chest day. And leg day. <laughs> All um, the days. I just kind of go, huh, and then carry on, like, desperate in this next boar here. Yeah, you've can seen I, this can before. Can I inside check that? Huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no, it's, like, that, that. it's just like a, <laughs> I'm inside huh. checking that. Uh, okay. Go you, for it, wait, is that a, Yeah, I'm inside checking it. Is she, is she disrespecting uh, the mud's race? Abs- I mean, absolutely not. Oh, yeah, with a yeah. twenty-seven, the waste of a nat twenty. Uh, Absolute just... waste of a nat twenty. <laughs> she, 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 literally, like she's just like she's just looked across. Oh, sorry, that was no, wrong. no, um, no, no, that's that's me. That's excellent, Ren. So yeah, oh, she, like she just looks across at Lamud, and oh, as she no, sees the wild a, shape, that's him. I rolled a fifteen. Yeah, that's yeah, an yeah, yeah, and, and uh, yeah, and I'm telling you what happens with the fifteen. Oh, right. So <laughs> what happens is she, she, like she looks around and she sees Lamud just, to, just you know, kind of exiting this wild shape. Being a person of the woods and um, someone who has a natural affinity to the land, it's clear with the fifteen that she's seen somebody wild shape before. This is not new to her. I was just and that's that's know, all that um, was. She was like, I was oh. actually checking that. I was checking to see how she'd react because I feel like we've had a few people react weirdly to orcs. Well, how, 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 well then, how do you react? Oh, uh, yeah, to, I, to the to the half orc. Me, I'm not me. Fine, fine. No, me. shall oh, I? Oh, yeah. Um, I don't. I just. Yeah, well, there you go. Yeah. yeah, cool. Because um, because uh, I was thinking because what was it? Uh, the old woman and the kid when Lamont started speaking Orkish and shit. So yeah, kind of well, they're yeah, out. they're like the 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 old woman and the kid are. I mean, they, well, the kid was half orc, and you yeah. can see that that she she didn't endured some sort of trauma that was brought back to the surface by encountering another half orc, mm. um, and the old woman was just probably just. Old enough to, 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 to be naturally kind of prejudiced. Right. Um, that's, that's like old there. women are. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> my my um, investigation. They, they, they get their state to... pension and they, like their racism card. That's it. Um, Sorry. So starting starting at third level. The racism card. Starting at third level, you can use a bonus action to make a wisdom perception check to spot a hidden creature object or make an intelligence check to un- uncover or decipher clues. I was looking for bees and uh, oh, that's like, right. Signs yeah. of the boy. Bees, yeah, you 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 spot a few dead bees on the trail. 
Um, and it's the same trail that Le Mud is um, mm. current was currently well well like that he that he was sniffing around but he's now sort of probing around with his fingers and and his expert eyes um yes yeah, so and with, with you um, agree that the, 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 there seems to be some sort of trail or track onto the southeast mm. Mm. So with, with what robert you know has uncovered and what i've uh, smelled previously so i mean we would confer a bit and then yeah. i mean robert i think southeast is uh the way to go <laughs> By the way, do you, do you know what's going on with that bird up there? It's kind of just sitting there. Um, it's, it's kind of weirding me out. Does, does anyone notice that? It's just floating in the sky. The Is it a, a bird? On the map, yeah. This is the bird that's been on the map. I've been making jokes about earlier. I was like, it's, oh. just, it's just kind of there. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like uh... looking to um, the mood and just like look at him. It's like, tell him in Orkish. Uh, it flies in your tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> you have a yeah meat in your so, teeth. So, so meat yeah, in your so teeth. For, for the non-African speaking. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm just gonna I'm gonna bunch you guys up here, mm -hmm. um, and I'm gonna move copy, this nice map. Uh, okay, yeah, copy and paste. Just don't move yourself. I like how the only ones of us who actually understand <laughs> Orkish are. <laughs> Oh, South African. And can speak I African. used that on purpose, though, didn't you? Just <laughs> no, no, no. Like, like I know Orkish due to my okay. backstory, but that's so. Um, you guys are gonna head southeast, and you're following this trail. Once, once the damage done by by the boars, um, once you've gotten past that, um, there's a fairly obvious trail leading to the southeast. You travel for about maybe an hour, hour and a half, <clears> um. <throat> you come across first you hear it sounds like a very a very very strange voice it's very loud it echoes through the trees you hear it um and you want to make a perception check to try and yes figure out what it's saying by the way just out of curiosity right. the amount of dead bees look suspicious like no 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 now. it's just it's just um it's it would be noticeable for anyone who i got a 13. for it 13, Ooh. 21, 21, 10. Um, so everyone above a 12. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Get it out of the way now, buddy. Get it out of the way now. What are um, they? Sorry. Yeah, I just don't hear it. <laughs> has everyone rolled? No, no. no. My ears are still ringing uh, from the uh, doesn't, thunder. Just over, it doesn't overly matter. As you guys <laughs> um, near the next clearing, you hear the, uh, anyone who rolled over a 12, you hear, <clears throat> come out. Morsel, I will make your end quick for you. I hunger for the flesh of the innocent. Uh, is it in so, common? Yes. Morsel. Come um, on. You, 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 you hear a, a faint whisper. Anyone who rolled over 12 hears the details. Anyone who doesn't um Picks up you guys like certain words but not the full yeah. name maybe yeah Ro robert's just interviewing our new guest like oh, so, <laughs> uh, um, so you guys can enter and i'm, I'm completely work. like open book like just fucking telling you everything so uh... awesome yeah yeah <laughs> how long you've been uh traveling alone and uh... a long long time dude like such oh. a long time do you come it's, across it's been hard you know being hard and... on the, on the road imagine. on your own like yeah. nobody to talk to like um, so if you guys want Life to decide where you yeah, no. you arrive in on uh, uh, this map, you hear you hear the voice from over here. Uh, so, so, sorry, you look uh, and Dave, see. Yeah, you need to swap maps for it. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. My my bad. Sorry about that. Yeah. Here you go. I, I thought it was just me. <laughs> I was like, what? So where would you like to enter? You Is see. Oh. You see this huge see? creature. Um, with a human head, wings, and a kind of a lion's body, and it's got this this huge long tail that just kind of is kind of arcing over itself, almost like a scorpion, but not quite. It's swishing back and forth like a cat's would when it's annoyed and it's angry. And you can see it it butts its he its head against this this um. There seems oh. to be some sort of really small kind of cave or um fissure that uh it, it's it's it, all of its attention. Is seemingly directed towards us, like more sun. Can I tell what it is? Would we know? Um, 
you can roll a survival uh you can roll history uh, or arcana um or any <laughs> rangers or druids can roll survival i'll roll survival. all right I'll dc roll, is roll a survival. survival. robert is having like a stars in his eyes this is Me going to go into the rare this section this is a manticore yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd probably say uh me and chillin would probably just ch- share a look of <laughs> oh shit <laughs> i'm gonna need you guys to roll stealth checks please as you enter here friend immediately um, creeps, creeps i'm back tempted i'm tempted to give shalan disadvantage because of how uh, um, uh how much no, she was talking but i won't <laughs> Oh, it was uh, hush tone. It was uh, okay. So, oh, oh did I... double twenties, Jade. Wow, that's double nineteen. Double nineteens, but yeah, wow. yeah, wow, uh, excellent. But it's it's been ruined. All all of your hard work has been ruined <laughs> by Shallon and Robert, who rolled one under its passive reception. Sorry, and as that. you arrive in, um, Shallon's still talking. Yeah, it's been really rough. And then you go, like you see, like go, oh. And, hey, Lamont, um, you got any more transformations? I got something. And Robert is just like walking in and he's like, he just blurts it out, like, oh my God. I have a question. Like, just, like, uh, yeah. Um, I don't have advantage or disadvantage on my character sheet. Is that a back end? Um, uh, no, I've no, 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 no. Where are the fuck? There you it are. It says right. always roll with advantage, which I don't want to. I, I like having my. My rules separated. Okay, no problem. Yeah, let's uh, let's go into your character sheet. Uh, while while you do that, Dave, um, yeah. uh, Drew K nineteen eighty says roll for underpants. Yeah, roll absolutely, for guys. Underpants. So that is <laughs> you, that Jake. should be now roll toggle. Yeah. You should be able to toggle that. I got it. Yeah, thank you. Excellent. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Um. So it it immediately its head swoops around and its tail whoosh, shoots up over its over its body. The wing is going to flap, and it takes flight immediately. Goes, we should have taken a short rest. Uh, <laughs> I'm fine. But like, is it oh my god, I'm freaked out. <laughs> I'm going to need everyone to roll initiative, please. Yes. Robert is here. We go. Hey, John, do you have do you have any more wild shapes by any chance? Oh, I've got something for you. Yeah, I got an uh, idea. Uh, DM, mm-hmm. I just want to confirm, now that we level up, do I still have that damage that I took from the fall? Yeah, um, you guys, you, like, you'll get your new skills, but you, you don't just automatically, just wounds don't automatically close. You not, still like have a, to, not like after a night's sleep. You'll still have to take a long rest. Yeah, exactly, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just want to confirm that. The intensive care wards in, in, in the D&D world are, like, just, they're empty. They're non-existent because everyone just has a lot of sleep. To be fair, I've, um, like, I'm working on a, my own homebrew world, and I've worked on the, the, an explanation that there are, like, certain genetic, like, people with a different, like, you know, muta- it's like a mutation, really, and they just seem to heal faster. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't clear, so anyone who rolled a, a good initiative is going to, uh, Oh, again, I'm, I'm, I, sorry, I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, do you know what? You no, no, no. I'll, 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 I'll just put it. I'll put it in. Uh, I'll put it in manually. No, uh, no. no you no, have to learn I'm... somehow. Yeah. No, no. Don't, enough, don't, enough. don't stress. Don't stress. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Thanks, guys. Probably roll. Sorry about that. Well, it um, just you know the, the, the Manticore might get less as well. Question for you. So, dread yeah. ambusher. So yeah. that is that is me ambushing. Yeah, it's you preparing the battlefield, okay. so to speak. Basically, you get uh, the first time you enter combat, the first round you have, you get an extra D8 every time. Okay, okay, that's fine. At third level, you master the art of the ambush. You give yourself a bonus to your initiative rolls equal to your wisdom, your wisdom modifier. At the start of each, at the start of your first turn of each combat, your walking speed increases by ten. Which like, da, 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 da. It doesn't say you have to prepare the battlefield. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. And Excellent. I, okay, I was just cool. making sure that I didn't have to, you know, like ambush. Like literally, that's, no, that's, no, why that's this fine. Class that's what I was making sure to Okay, cool. Then you can get so, do you want to roll a 1d8 then and add that to your initiative? I will. I will click on my character first, though. Yeah. Um, or you can just roll a 1d8. Oh, sorry, well, you, ha- you have you haven't rolled roll initiative. initiative. Sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Uh, so there I am, initiative, and then 1d8. Oh. 21. Okay, excellent. So, so let's just make you a 21 there. Hey, hey Lamud, we have we have in sync initiatives. This is perfect. <laughs> okay. 
numerically descending. First up, we have Shallon. Thank you for your patience. Uh, your 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 um your natural ability and and just your your ability to react to to, to any any given situation just means you're 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 on a pin and you're ready to go. You see this thing just begin to flap its wings to try and take flight. What would you like to do? Use my hunter's mark prop properly this time. Yep. Um. So uh, that's my that's the second one there. So. I'll do that, and then I will go for a longbow shot. Um, but I want to move. Hold on a second. One second until I figure out my. Ooh, bitch! Right. Um. Okay. So I'm. Mm, I'm gonna move to, like here. Yeah. And I'm gonna fire my longbow at it. Okay. No problem. Move your token, and then uh, roll to hit. Okie dokie. Uh. So. Let's try some different bound music. Ooh, nice. Ah. That's a... That is a 24 to hit. Yes. So roll your damage. Ah, ready? Three. Do you get your hunter's mark? I do, and that's a d6 on top of that. Uh, two. That is three to five you... points of damage. Your plus arrow, your uh, as you see this thing uh, just... Oh, plus my d8 then. Yeah, okay. Oh my god! I'm making my way there. Okay. I'm making my way. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So as you take your first shot, you draw, you draw the bow back, and you just let the arrow sh- fly, and it, it, you can see as it's flapping at wings, it just cuts through one of the, the the kind of pieces of wing membrane and just sails through in the trees. You just kind of see it look down. You first, and it raises its paw and it points at you. Anything else um, you'd like to do? No, that I think that's all I got. Okay. That's all Next I got. Up, Robert Seth Cooper. Uh Robert is uh basically in heaven right now. <laughs> finally <laughs> seeing something throw it uh, when it's dead, Robert. Something worthy. exotic. Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, before I uh before we go anywhere, from here up to here, this first level. It's 20 feet, 20 feet, mm-hmm. 40 feet, 40 feet. This is this here is 40 feet from the forest floor. Okay. 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 Mm. Yeah, okay. In case we okay. fall. So 20 feet yeah. per level. Basically. 20, yeah, 20 feet per level. And uh, God will be the one that will fall. Where yeah, I just got to read one of my features Monk. closely. <laughs> the most agile. Sure. <laughs> We're basically God. Supposedly. What would you like to do, my friend? Uh, I am going to use my bonus action. The Manticore has to make a deception check versus my my insight. I'm going to try and do some insightful fighting. Insightful Mm -hmm. fighting. Dex, sorry. um, uh, Insight is wisdom, is is it not? Uh, I I do insight. He has to do charisma. Just charisma. Oh, great. Yeah. yeah. Mi- minus one on that. That was a nice roll, too. He is a minus mm. one on this. So, what did you roll? 18. Which means he can't. 21. 18. Yeah, he can't right. beat it. So well, let's just let's, let's, let's let him roll it. Six. Um, yeah. So, you, I think that, that 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 automatically gives you a sneak attack, doesn't it? For the next minute, I can use my sneak attack on him without having an advantage or Excellent. Right. Excellent. What wow. an ability. I love it. It's okay. just an sneak attack. It's really good. Anything else you'd like to do? Uh, well, <clears throat> that was my bonus action. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give. Uh, was it you that threw the daggers at the boars in the last? Yeah, I did pull them out. I you did I pull them out. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, Grant, yeah. <laughs> just, just double checking. Uh, I'm gonna try to. Oh, there. As beautiful as this thing is, I don't want to get close to it. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'll, you have I'll, a bow, I'll... or is it just daggers? Just daggers. I want to get a crossbow, but not now. Uh, yeah, I'll move up to up to there, yeah. Like stand close to this person. And I'll ready a dagger in case he comes this way. Within range. Okay. Throw it at him. Thirty feet. As soon as he steps within thirty feet of me. Okay. So there somewhere, I'll throw it at yeah. him. Bear in mind this creature can fly, so it might not be thirty yeah. feet. Yeah, cool. I'm just saying if it's yeah. thirty feet, I won't throw cool. if it's not close enough. No problem. No problem. Uh, next also shoot us, so 
Scales. Uh, Scales is going to rage. Okay, bonus action rage. Uh, then let's see, that's 30 feet. Mm, that's going to be a bit far. Yeah, it's not going to make much of a difference. So, Do scales have any ranged weapons? Yeah, scales. Like has, so that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 to there. Uh, pull out a javelin and okay. chuck it at the at the manticore, but it's going to be a disadvantage because of the range. No problem. Roll to hit. Uh, just ignore the ra rage damage, but yeah. I don't think a 10 hits. Uh, no, unfortunately, it does not. All right. Um, okay, so the javelin sails harmlessly wide and just lands somewhere over here in the trees. Anything else? No, that's it for scales. Okay, moving on. Fenar. Oh, uh, yeah, I wish he was before me. <laughs> <laughs> you can okay, hold an so, action. Yeah, I'm going to move. Fine. Just up until here, and then I'm yeah. just gonna, yeah, hold my action. Uh, no, I think I'm gonna hold the um, dodge action. You're gonna hold the dodge action, okay? Yeah. No problem. Oh yeah, that was that. I'm just taking the dodge action. Just then? take the dodge. Yeah. Same, yeah. Holding it does just that. Just steals your reaction. I just take the dodge action. Okay. Then yeah. I rather yeah. than just hold my action, then yeah. Okay, no no problem at all. Um, next, is that, is that it for you? Yeah, that's it. Next up is the Manticore. It begins to take flight. It's great wings, you can hear it. You can just see the the um, the 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 leaves and twigs on the forest floor just begin to just blow out as it takes flight. Um, and it, it it takes flight about 40, 45 feet in the air and eyes up our new elf. And he goes, your insolence shall be punished. And it is going to take... You see it raised its tail above its, its, its uh, back. And it uh, makes three attacks. Four, three oh. with its tails, tail spikes. It's going to take three tail spikes. It's going to shoot them straight at you. First one. It's an 18 to hit. Hit. Uh, okay, this tail spike shoots out of its tail, funnily enough, and, and just sails through and catches straight in the shoulder. And you can see it's barbed as as it goes in, and it just the, the this wave of pain hits you. Um, it's not poisoned. I know to leave that. Um, it's got yeah, it's gonna hurt. Second attack, it's gonna take another tail spike attack at you. Uh -huh. That's another eighteen to hit. Yep. For DPK, DPK, DPK. Oh, I like. For, sorry, for, sorry, I have to scroll down. For, oh, I'm your meat that. shield. Uh, yeah, that is you for take six piercing. You're the guest. Exactly. I'll shield you. I'll take care of you. So that's another six piercing. Okay. And then it's going to... Let me see who else is here. I need to click that so I can. Um, and... Oh, what? <laughs> 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 I'm probably the least apparent threat. I'm staying. I'm hiding. Pretty much. Uh, it's gonna. It's gonna shoot the third tail spike at Fenar. Uh, you've taken the dodge action, so I believe he's at disadvantage. Is that correct? Yep. No, I just hold an action, but um, I can do deflect missiles as a reaction. Who took? Sorry, I thought Fenar took the dodge action. He wanted to, but then instead he just held his action. Okay, no problem. Great, that, takes your that takes your reaction, so, though. Um, so, like, can you do the uh, missiles now? No, yeah. it only takes your reaction if you use your held action. Oh, right. You don't. Okay. okay. But then you won't be able to do the held action anymore. So, it's a 19 to hit. Uh, That hits. Okay, are you going to use... Uh, are you, are you going to try and deflect missile? Yeah. Oh, that's the wrong one. Sorry, the wrong button. Yeah, I'm gonna do a deflect missile. Use your reaction to catch. All right. So, um, so the damage is nine piercing. I'm piercing. So I have to. The damage you take from attacks is reduced by one d10 plus my dex. That's your monk level. So one d10 plus three. Uh, one d10 plus three. 
No, plus three plus tax. So. <laughs> um, oh yeah, so that's yeah. So you yeah you've so you, see, you like you just see the tail swipe so shoot out and you just go and it it is literally just right in front of the bridge of your nose and you just go catch it. I believe oh, so you can you can spend a key point to redirect that. They work as javelins too, so yeah. yeah. So yeah, I, yeah. Let me. I'm gonna spend a key point to throw it back at him. Okay, excellent. Roll to hit. Uh, that's a normal. Uh, you make plus. this attack with proficiency, regardless of your weapon proficiencies, and the missile counts as a monk weapon for the attack. So, ooh, so it's a javelin. So it's a D twenty plus. Uh, so roll a D twenty plus your proficiency. Is it? It counts the monk weapon. I would imagine you get your dex. Yeah, yeah, you can you can use your unarmed attack. It'll do, do the same. It's a uh, monk weapon. Oh, yeah, that's true as well. Okay. So I'll just. <clears throat> so that is. It would do more damage though, because it's a D six, I think, for a javelin, isn't it? No, you use your monk weapon. Your monk oh. So, uh, yeah, so that is a hit. So immediately you just, so you guys just see this tail spike, like faster than light, just shoot towards it. And the monk just seems to just go, and abs- just instead of catching it, just catches the tail end and just flips it and it spins and, and he redirects it. And it just shoots, nice. sticks into the manticore and you can just see it look down. And you've ne- if you, You've never seen a manticore before, but you've never seen one look this shocked. It's you can clearly see it's never seen skill of this level from what it considers food. Okay, hey, that was before, that's what because I was got wet in the water. <laughs> so it's currently forty-five feet in the air, um, and it's used and it's used its actions. Next up is Ren. Uh, can since me and the mud are the same role, can I let the mud go first? You can. Just yeah, cool. The mud, you go ahead. Mm. Oh, the plan. To... No, the plan's not going to work. Uh, okay. Uh, I, have, I have a plan anyways. It'll just not be as cool. Uh, so the medical's in the air. Right, so Lamud is just going to um, mutter to himself, let's see if this works. And he's going to look up at the medical and he's going to shout at him, uh, he's just basically going to shout at him down. And he is going to cast Earthbind. Range 300 Ooh. feet, one creature you can see. Oh, fucking hell. Great, that is nice. Great choice of spell, my friend. <laughs> that is so good. She's one creature you can see within range. Yellow strips of magical energy loop around the creature. Target must succeed on a strength saving throw. Its flying speed, if any, is reduced to zero. An airborne creature effect of this spell safely descends at 60 feet per round. Shit. Johnny, did you, uh, <laughs> Shit did, you, you. Did, did you like steal Dave's notes before the session? <laughs> no, I did not. I took the spell specifically for the wyvern. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah, we do. Oh, yeah, so it's over here. My character shoes over here. So it's a. It's got plus three to this Jeez, roll. So it needs to have a bad roll. Not yet. First. You ready? I should have went first. I'm Fuck. ready. Ah, ah, 19. Ah. So the it, it it almost senses these um these yellow strips of magical energy and it just buffets its wings and just kind of just ascends by five or six feet and they just wrap around nothing. And it looks around and goes Good to know. Oh no. Uh at at the uh it's just going to you know, to give a a, a grant and let's see uh, movement. Uh, let's see how far I can get. Yeah. Yeah. So I can get to there. Yeah. No problem. And just move to there. Yeah. Okay. And that's my turn. Yeah, I'll take my. Ren, you're up. Um, well, since my plan has gone out the window, uh, I will now ca- instead cast a, another chromatic orb. So I produce the diamond again. Yeah. Take it, it starts to spin. And this time it glows like a sickly green as an orb of acid. So wait, can that reach? Actually, 13. 
90 feet? Would I be within 90 feet? Uh, let's get your... Yeah. Let's, yeah, so, so like... 13 to hit? Yeah. That misses, I'm afraid. Okay. Yeah, so the sickly, um, So like, it sails harmony by... You, it like grass. hits into the canopy of the trees, and you just see some branches and leaves begin to wither. Uh, and then um, I will sort of take my full movement and sort yeah. of try get to cover. Oh, to here. So I'm trying to try get behind these rocks that are there. Okay, go um, for it. Just give angle angular cover. No problem. That's you. Yeah, Jaden. <clears throat> Sorry, Jaden. Before before yep. we do that, what I will yep. say is because Ren and Lamud are the same initiative, you can choose each round who goes first. You you don't oh. have to make the decision now. Cool. Um. So so th- seeing seeing this thing starting to fly uh, and seeing yeah. Lamud's uh, attempt at well, I, I don't know it was was that visible magic or not, but uh, oh, it was. You thought he's yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so so he has the same thought and he fires off his uh, light crossbow at um, uh, the creature and he will add a trip attack battle maneuver does that work that. on flying creatures it That's does it. Really, why not that is throw, it it, throw, throw it out there and see yeah can so you, can, you, can you put the description oh, first yeah absolutely let me just stick it in there uh, you need a crazy weapon you spend once. It's 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 a knockout target and the kill you and very much. So see if it, let's see if I hit it first. Doesn't mention Oops. nothing about a. Sorry, I I clicked it twice, so it should just be the first one. Thirteen is it misses unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Same mm-hmm. as. Mean to do that. Yeah. Um, that's something that we must look into. Um, I don't. I mean, it doesn't say anything about flying creatures, so. If they're, not, mean, it, if they're not prone, as, as not, a, yeah, that as air, you will. Yes, yeah. yeah, I mean, I like what like would imagine that you know which which part of the wings to shoot mm. for, or which part of the kind of muscularity. Yeah. Okay. So so um, so I suppose it, it it doesn't hit. So okay. Um, that that's all irrelevant anyway. It's good to know. Um, though. it is good to know. Yeah. But, but then also thinking back to what his teacher has said and height being key in fights, he's gonna follow the mud essentially up. Uh, up the embankment uh, as far as you can go. So, call it there. As, as the great Obi Wan Kenobi said, don't try it. I have my ground. Exactly. Hello there. Yeah. Yeah. Hello there. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jaden, is that you? That is <laughs> all I can do. Yeah. Okay. Shalanda Swift, you're up. I'm very tempted um, to follow uh, Scott. Uh, Kate's advice in chat that said to distract the manticore with boar meat. Um, <laughs> um, I would <laughs> say, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm tempted. Even... I said it was tempted. Yeah, okay, I didn't okay, say yeah, I was yeah. going to do it. Okay, I'm just cool. saying it's a very good idea. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, I kinda manticores are pretty die. smart, though, aren't they? Mm, they're 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 cunning. They're not smart. Yeah. Um, they, it, it 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 has low intelligence, but it wouldn't it would know. Now would not be the, the time to eat the meat. It would, especially it would, not it would when meat start firing off. Once the threat is there, uh, <laughs> once the that's threat it, has that's expired. what she said. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> um, how, the firing magic. how far off the ground is the manticore at the moment? Forty-five feet. Okay, so um, I'm going to use my last remaining spell slot to <laughs> cast Entangle. Um, <clears throat> so grasping weeds and vines sprout from the ground and 20 foot square starting from a point within range. For the duration, these plants turn the ground into an area of difficult terrain. A creature in the area that you cast a spell on must succeed on a strength saving throw or be restrained by the entangling plants until the spell ends. Okay, so it's um, a 20 foot cube, is it? Yes. So it's 45 feet in the air, so it wouldn't be caught by the 20 foot cube. You could, can you not throw it up into the air and entangle it? Like it no, because it it's terrain. Oh, That's ground. why I was asking. So, because yeah. it says range 90 foot, but yeah, so I you could just that have that appear in 90 feet. Of, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Like, can I not do that, like that then? Of course you can. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Like you would um, know. You would know that. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um. Well, real world me can't do math, so. <laughs> I'm That's great at D&D. Just, uh, <laughs> yeah, but Georgia. Shallon would know. Anyway. You like you would know your capabilities and you would know that that's not something yeah. that you do. Okay. So you can wreck on that. 
I will just, um, I'm going to move into the trees here. Great idea if it would have worked, but um, I can and see I wanna, where you're going for that. I want to hide. Okay, you can use your action to hide, yeah. Um, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hide okay. from it. Okay, so, so roll me a stealth check. Oh. No! Oh. Oh, <laughs> I'm so no. bad at hiding and that's all I do. <laughs> Um, it, yeah, it, it, so, it sort of, um, you you creep behind this kind of bush and make a lot of noise and you just see it look over and go. Ah, ah, ah. It's just its eyes tracker the entire way. It's like, where um, are you going? Anything else you'd like to do? Other than hide better. <laughs> I want to hide better. Somebody okay. teach me how to hide better. Um, no, that's all for me. Thank you. Okay. Robert, Robert is a teacher guide. My, my training regimen is weird. It involves spying on a lot of people. <laughs> uh, That's yes. not creepy at all. Robert, the pirate creep. Military you know, intelligence, yeah. don't you know? Yeah, yeah, that's what that's what it's for. Just, I just like to hide in the shadows and draw people. That's what I yeah. like to do. Mm, mm. <laughs> I see, now you're learning. Next up, so Leah, so so what what's your plan, Robert? Can I run up to there? You can. Like that? Yeah. Is you that your movement and your bo- and your bonus action? Yeah, bonus action movement as yeah. well. Uh, how far up is he from me? He's twenty feet now. So the the the, the creature is twenty five feet above you. Above me. So uh, that's it's twenty five feet up from. So it's forty five feet feet up from the ground. So twenty five feet up from this level here. Okay. So the uh, question is: Is is he within the range? I I, I don't want to. What's do the range of your dagger? Uh, Are we going to do thirty feet? Uh, do you know what? Do you want to make a ruling in this now? Are we are we going to just start doing Pythagoras theory, or I just think if if, if you know no you're like let's just say it's within range. What's good for the goose is good for the gander though. So if you guys <laughs> encounter a red dragon with a breath weapon, it's same will apply fair, to that. Like, what does the, the whole having to do like? the mass to go up thing <laughs> is always. Um, I mean, now how how far are you now? Thirty feet. Uh, 30 feet, 25 feet. Yeah, you're what? not within 30 feet of are we? Are we doing that then? Is that how you guys want to do it? Or just like... No, I'm, ju- I'm just saying quick maths in my head. Pythagoras is out of range. Okay, well, do you want to be the, the arbiter of quick maths then? Because I am not able to do that on, you, on the fly. As, as DM, if you can't do it, I'd say we should just not do it. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Mm. Cool. Yeah, it's it, obviously it, it, obviously it, it, you're always going to have Juan, so... It's a, it's a, it's a <laughs> He's going. He's, he's, he's going to take holidays someday. He's going to take holidays someday. Um, so look, look, it, guys, it's your call. You decide. Okay. No, no, I no. think Pythagoras is always just like it, I understand it, but I always feel like it's overkill. So how did like yeah, you like you guys make the decision here? I'd say I'd say he's out of range. If he's twenty five feet up. Okay, so we're doing it. Way, it so we're doing Pythagoras. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'll, fine with either. I just usually feel like okay. Cool. So you're out of range, my friend. Um, just to confirm for chat, we are level three. Yes, mm-hmm. you are level, level three. Yes. Every, every, everyone level up in the oh, break. Oh, uh, by the way, that's a manticore. Oh, no. oh my Shh. God, that was so quick. Wait, what? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Huh? Can you put those up on the Discord? Uh, you, I mean... Uh, <laughs> point, but oh, mighty. Robert needs, quills, Robert needs to track pencils like ammo. Yeah. <laughs> my, my question is like what is with you and richard and being able to speed draw amazing works of art it's, it is playing? amazing like it's crazy it's talent okay uh, let's move it on because we're uh, we're coming up on 11 o'clock i think we're yeah 23 minutes to um so who's next um robert is there something else you want to uh, do because you i'll i'll hold another action okay. if he... no actually problem. i'll take the dodge action while i'm busy okay. like no problem you and just for the record just if you don't have to say what action you're holding you can decide that you're holding an action okay yep uh it's just, just uh, sometimes you got to specify what is the trigger for your action yeah and, and that's fine yeah 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 yeah. but i'm not gonna like just get like overly finicky okay. on, on it okay. um okay next up uh, scales all right so scales is going to i mean for now i'm sorry uh scales is gonna run up to there Okay. Uh, while drawing another javelin, just throw it straight up like and, a, throw, it, up and throw it straight up. Uh, <laughs> okay, roll to hit my friend. Anyone quickly off the top of your head, short range for a javelin 60 30 feet. feet. Six, how much? 30 feet. 30, oh, 60. 30, okay. 30 feet. Okay, so it's still disadvantage. You could jump by uh, it's, it's got a, it's got a hundred and. <laughs> 
got 120 foot long range. Ah, nine. It's a nine, unfortunately, yeah. Um, if there were a cartoon noise with a kind of a slide whistle, you would hear it right now. Yeah, um, basically. It goes up and goes... <laughs> and uh, just lands on the ground beside Don't you. Don't worry, you threw it straight up, so next yeah. time it'll come back down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, down. You, you'll see I made sure not to put scales directly under the manticore. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so will it come is back that, down next round? Is that all scales wants to do? That is all scales can do. Okay, excellent. Uh, nice distinction. Fanar. Okay, so he's in the air, can't do anything. Well, well you can, but... We uh, could argue how effective it will be. That, that's the thing. I'm afraid of that. That once again. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Will, 45 will get you to there. Yeah, I was thinking about like. Um... Do we need to find a way to get the melee fighters up? Yeah. Or that thing down? Yeah. That's 45. Does Lamont have another spell spell slot for a second Earthbind? I do. See, okay, I want to try. I was going to try reduce its disadvantage on its strength checks, but I need to be within thirty feet, and I can't get within thirty feet. Okay, cool. So for now, then I'm gonna dash then up until yeah, and mm -hmm. that's all I'm gonna do. I want to be that cool. guy. Do you still have key points left? Uh, it will be a waste now to do because only thing I can do now is oh, uh, oh, you action dashed. Ah, yeah, okay. action dash. Okay. That's all I do. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Next up, is that everything? Yeah, that's it. That's it. I have a question very, yeah. very quickly. Does anybody have a hard cutoff in terms of leaving at 11? Because we've got no. some scope to continue for a little while. No. And I, I don't know about you guys. I want to smash the crap out of this manticore. Oh, well, I mean, I, I, I generally assume that like, usually if we're mid combat, we keep going until the end of combat. That's usually not what necessarily. Not I'm, necessarily. Not working tomorrow, <laughs> I'm not working tomorrow, so I can keep going yeah. to the end. But it's yeah, up to you guys. Well, le we'll keep going for a certain amount of time anyway just yeah. conscious of our south africans who were an hour ahead yeah and also yeah, saturday like, night we're shane friday how are you with that this grand friday okay Is that okay okay cool. cool i know it's okay friday. i was off i was off today so i just my brain like it's like oh it's saturday no, it's not saturday. so it's currently 45 feet in the air it is going to die all of a sudden sudden <laughs> manticore death syndrome hmm. SMS. it is <laughs> smds sorry <laughs> Um, it feels powerful. I'm gonna move to here. That it does. And it's going to. Is scale yeah, is scales is is uh, scales raging? Yeah. Uh, scales is raging. Yes. That's that's a that's a good thing. Um, it's going to descend forty feet. Descend. Is it within five feet of scales now? Yes, it is. Good to know. Um, and it's going to... It sees she's wounded. He's wounded, sorry. And it's... Uh, they're not intelligent. They're, they have a huge ego. And it's going to make a bite attack. Yeah. It can make right. one bite attack. That is a 14 to hit. 14 hits. That it. uh, that's seven piercing. Branded down to three. Cool. So it descends... And scales, you 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 smell this rotting, just rotting flesh, it just emerge from its mouth. It takes a chunk out of out, out of your shoulder. Um, it's it's close enough. You can see its its beard is just matted and and filthy. It's got like bits of bits of flesh, rotted flesh stuck in it. It's like you can what make looks like a finger stuck between its teeth. It's horrific. And it takes uh, one with its bite and two with its claws. So it's going to take another attack with its claw. That is a 15 to hit. Hits. Nine slashing, rounded down to four. Still up. And third attack is a 10. Misses. 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 So it descended 40 feet. It has another 10. It's going to leave your range confident in its ability. So it's going to be, it's going to attempt to be 15. If you, if you Sentinel, uh, uh, sorry, if you don't have Sentinel, it will be 15 feet above the ground. Uh, so Scales doesn't have uh, uh, Sentinel. Can I, as the opportunity, uh, take opportunity, uh, 
use scales as lightning breath. Yes, you can. It needs to make a DC 12 deck save. Okay, let's just see what it has here. DC 12 I deck is plus has... three on its decks. I don't think oh, it has the rage damage, but... Yeah, it doesn't get to the rage damage. That is a five. Ah. Plus three nine, is eight. Nine points lightning. Nine points lightning, okay. And as, as as scale just scales. reacts. <laughs> yeah, sorry. What does it look I, like? Uh, I'd say for scales, <sighs> probably uh, the eyes would flash white in that okay. second and then just you know kind of like trying to let out a scream and then it's just a solid white beam of lightning okay so you see so. scales eyes just turn white and you hear deep down where her voice box might be you just hear this lightning breath just shoots out and it just you did, for an instant the manticore's all its limbs just tense up and its wings just shoot straight out and then it kind of recovers and, and looks looks down and it just it, it you can see it's 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 thinking twice now about uh the Dave confidence that it had earlier disturbs front man again <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's every episode um also <laughs> who who was it uh d ranger on said the manticore is the chorus band <laughs> that all happened to be Manticorus. Manticorus? Like it? <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, I, I, I That'd be a great name for a band. Manticorus. The Manticorus. Yeah, the Manticorus. Uh, Manticorus. Okay, so that's uh, that's as much as it can do. It's now 15 feet in the air. Next up, Ren Orum. What would you uh, like to do? Question. Lamud, are you going to Wild Shape this turn? Uh, so no. Go first. Okay, no, never mind. Um, so yeah, Ren is going to move 30 feet closer to the Manticore, something he really doesn't want to do, but he kind of has to. Um, Scott Kate says, oh, wah, get down with the beard meat. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> get nice. down with the beard meat. Amazing. Amazing. I'll be about here. Sorry, and, Ren. So you're moving to there, yeah. Yeah. And then, sorry, just one second while I get it up. Um, that's what yeah, she Dave, said. When you're done, that's what he said to she. What were you saying? Sorry, go ahead. No, what were you saying? I said that uh, when uh, Dave is done with Disturbed, he should uh, start his own Manticore band. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fuck it. Uh... To, grow the, to, grow, to grow the beard out. Sorry, uh, Ren. So um, you've taken your movement. What are you doing next? Chromatic Orb again, but this time at level two. Oh, shit. Uh, please hit. Yeah. That is a hit. 23 to hit. So that's oh, wow. so 18 what type? plus 7 damage. What nice. type is it? It's the green one again, it is it? It is lightning. Is lightning, again. sorry. Okay, excellent. So again, you just... <laughs> 18 and 7, 25 points of damage. Yeah, so he spins it, and then this time he arcs it up above the manticore, and as it floats above the manticore, just a bolt, it, like, it explodes as a bolt of lightning like, strikes down. Okay, so like it's been hit from lightning from all Close angles now. now this day yeah. it shoots up and then it, it it flies up to to get away yeah. from that and then like all of a sudden this this, this like yeah it, it, it this is this orb just shoots a massive bolt out and again you just see it, every muscle in its body just tense and this time it sort of lasts for longer and you can just see it shake and its wings flutter and i'm gonna say it loses five feet of of height so it's down to 10 because it can't maintain its its wing beats um and it just you do can you just see it, it's it, especially the the wing membranes just start to, to 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 blacken and brown and there's a smell of cooked meat off the wing the wing membrane and mm. it screeches Rah! and it did that chromatic or come come from you Ren, or did it appear uh no so basically what happens is Ren would have like it's a diamond it's Ren basically it, it, like hadouken yeah, basically, it spin, he spins the diamond that generates like an orb of lightning. And it okay, so so it's very it's very easy to trace where that came from. Yeah, no, he would know. You've done the most damage to it now at this stage. Okay, yeah. good to know. Um, Ren, anything else you'd like to do? <laughs> um, can't really do anything else as a bonus action for now. Do you have movement? You use that? Yes, on my 30 feet, okay. yeah. Lumud. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to... Drew Kane says wing, wing beats by Dre. 
lost lost second devil slot. Try and earthbind yeah. again. Earthbind. Okay. Spell save DC twelve. Twelve. And then what is it? It's a uh, strength. Strength. Okay. What did I have? I think it's plus one. Uh, plus plus, plus three. I think it was. Plus three. Okay. Yeah. You need a, a, a low roll for this. Here we go. Are you ready? Yeah. Go for it. I can't. Nah. Sixteen again, again, my friend. No. Exact same roll. Come on. Exact babe. same roll. Fucking hell. Uh, I don't think I have anything as a bonus action. <laughs> oh, D Ranger, I know. Chat. I'm I'm reading it and I'm singing it in my head, like <laughs> to <laughs> exactly. But it's just layers of jokes because Disturbed so like Disturbed covered that song as well. I know. Well, of course they have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, it's amazing. Amazing. It's like amazing. one of my favorite yeah, ever songs brilliant. ever ever. Okay, Lamoud, that's you, is it? Yeah, that would be just double checking. It's when you use your movement. Uh, fuck it, fuck it, Rain. Five, <laughs> ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Now, just so you know, I, it, it, it is fifteen feet above the ground now, so it's it five feet below right this there. ledge. Yeah, I can't jump there. Okay. Well. okay, no worries, Cuckoo. Yeah, no, no, and, and I, I wanted to enlarge Lamud up there, and so we could jump. But it's not work. <laughs> or if Lamud had a wild shape, you could have. Or are you, yeah. you out? But that's that's no. I have I still have one more second level. That's why I was trying okay, to do. Cool. I was hoping he wild shape okay. so I could enlarge him to take down the Mantor. Is that you, Lamud? Yeah, that's me. Jaden, you're up. <clears throat> you, so you, you guys hear this huffing and puffing and clanking of armor. <laughs> Four, five. He's gonna get there, um, and shoot with the light crossbow again. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sa- same intention. Trip shot again. Oh. Oh shit! That's a hit. That's a hit. So you so, go with trip shot. So well, for, first off, uh, oh no, sorry. That, uh, so it's gonna be the two piercing, but then yeah, gonna use the um, the really trip, trip attack. Superiority die, and I add that to the attack damage roll, so that'll just be a d8 for damage, and then it makes a um, strength saving throw with a DC of 13, because it's uh, okay. 8 plus the 2 proficiency plus my strength, which is 3, so 13. 13. So it seems weird that you add your strength to across my roll, but anyway, let that, that's the rule, let's do it, so it's uh, d20 plus 3. Yeah, that's his... That's his... Battlemaster DC. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's it. So that's it. So he is now prone on the ground. So he falls. Yeah. And he was only fifteen feet, so it wouldn't take damage. No. Uh, it would, uh, I think it, it isn't. Doesn't ten <laughs> ten feet do one d six? Yeah. It's every yeah. It's every ten yeah. ten feet is one d six. So it takes one d six damage. Well, also, the bigger you are, the harder you fall. Two. <laughs> that's that's what she said. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and it's two. You you hear this like? <laughs> that's what she said from the trees. <laughs> you can't see where it is, but that's all yeah. you hear. Because D and D route wise, this round is all taking place at the same time, so it's getting hit by a lightning bolt. It's so sorry, lightning man, like, breathed at it, shot with a crossbow bolt that's knocking it down. Mm. Were you saying, John? I just Blunt? threw it. I just threw it in chat there for you. Um, the rules on knocking a, a flying creature prone. Oh. Okay, so if a flying creature is not prone, it uh, has its speed reduced to zero. Or is otherwise deprived of the, of the ability to move, the creature falls unless it has the ability to hover or is being held aloft by magic, such as a fly spell. Um, <laughs> that's that. It doesn't, I don't think it does. Uh, <laughs> put, uh, put, uh, someone just put in chat puddle of the mud. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what an album. Oh my god, let's watch with it. <laughs> what an album. Wow. Well, oh, I've just ran through I every sense song a theme. In my head. I sense a theme happening here. Okay, so it's, yeah, it's, so it's, uh, it's, it's, it's prone, isn't it? Yeah, would be not prone in this case, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next up, Uh, Jay. Anything else you'd like to do? Um, I think. I think instead of blurry, I I think he's gonna (laughs) jump, jump down. Well, that's very far. Jump down. Twenty feet. feet. (laughs) Instead of blurry, it would be furry. Uh, Give me, give me, give me dexterity seven throw DC twelve. Uh, okay, so you're going to take full damage. So that's 28. Yeah. Um, 
2d6. I I had the, sorry, I thought I was hit two. There's 2d6. Five. And four is nine points of damage. Cool. Take it. Clank. Um, uh, I don't know how you guys rule it, but uh, up to 30 feet, I give a dexterity saving throw for half. 100%. Um, okay, anything else you'd like to do, apart from reset your kneecaps? Um, I'm going <laughs> to... Uh, I think I'm going to second wind it just to get that back, and I'm back. Well, <laughs> back on top. So, Excellent. Okay, uh, so second wind. Plus wind fire 10 plus, level. yeah. That's your fire level. Which is three, so that'll get me a... Oh, five. Every level five. Terrible, though. Yeah. Take it. So, worth yeah, it for the, it. the closeness. Yeah. Right. That's you me. could do some serious damage next round if it, if it doesn't manage to get out. Uh, sorry, Shem, after moving. Uh, Shalan, you're up. That is me. Shalan. Yeah, uh, Entangle will work now. Yes, exactly what I was going mm. to do. Thank you for stealing my thunder. Um, <laughs> that's exactly what I was going to do. Uh, so I want to entangle this bitch. So you he... know we have all the templates, right? Just, just... Yeah, you can. So if you yeah. go up to your the second one in. Sorry, the is it? Yeah, second one in, and go to. Right, no, sorry, your your journal, and go to templates. So the journal is the third one in on the top right, uh, and click templates, yep. and then click entangle, and then just drag and drop wherever you want it. Oh lord! Um, oh, so, that's uh, oh, it. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, and drag it in, and now just bear in mind that scales in there as well, so you can move. Yeah, there you go. Is that where you want to put it? Yeah. I'm just yes. so excited for when I hit fifth level. You sure? Yes. For a fireball, yeah. Okay, yeah. so I'm, I'm gonna I'm, I'm going to move that to the back, so it's not yeah, so it's there now. Okay, yeah, cool. It's in the front. So let's um, let's have a look at this spell. So he has to make a strength saving throw or be restrained by the entangling plants until the spell ends. Okay, um, spell save DC ten. It's got plus three, so it needs to roll a seven or more. Oh no! On a, on a D twenty. That's low. <laughs> It is Rangers. Sure is this is why nobody plays Rangers? Like, <laughs> no. It's Are you playing player player Am I just Rangers not or? doing it right? Oh, oh yes! <laughs> nice. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm pretty you got delighted it. with that now. I wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can, <laughs> <laughs> you can just see Shalyn going, this never works. Bam, and she throws it out. It's like, oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> so, so That's exactly what happened. Fantastic thing about that is, is to stand up, he needs movement. He needs to spend half his movement, but his movement's zero. Yeah, so it can't stand up. It can't yeah. stand up. I might have thrown you auto crit, don't for No, you get and, advantage. No, it's advantage. <laughs> advantage. Sorry, my brain. It's advantage. I meant to it's, say advantage. It's, 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 yeah. it's, it's um, pro, not paralyzed. In, yeah, no, intimidatingly, Shalan will like come out of hiding and, and start making her way very slowly towards the Manticore. Now, bear in mind, you are you've moved into its reach there. Yeah, we we'll see the square I'm in now, though. You can move to there if you want to stay out of its reach. I mean, it can oh, still, it can I'm still, still in to, reach it, here. Like, no, if you move there, which you did earlier, you can. You no, no, be in its... I moved back. I moved to. Yeah, far. yeah, that's fine. That's fine. But you can move there, and you won't be within reach. Okay. Well, there, there I go. If you, if you want to move anywhere. <laughs> no, and, and well, I do want to move, and I I want to ominously come towards the Manticore. Nice. Um, and I want to, like, you know, obviously not for this attack turn, but like be slowly withdrawing an arrow and like notching nice. it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Intimidatingly Very... staring yes. at the ugly Very bastard. Very atmospheric. You hey, Lamont, it's on it's... the ground. You ready? It's um, it's 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 struggling against these 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 bonds that have just come out of the earth and wrapped around it, and they've wrapped around its rings, its rings, its wings several times, and its its legs and its its head is kind of uncomfortably sort of like pinned to the ground sideways, and you can see it, it's biting at its bonds, and it's like, rah, rah, and it's it's, it's it, like whereas earlier it had words, it has no words now. It's just it's feral, and it's just just these 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 horrific noises coming from its its weirdly human face um shalan that is your turn i believe yeah that's excellent me. robert seth cooper if ever there was a time to get close and pull out your sketch pad now it is <laughs> i am going but it still to has its tail get, spikes i'm going to get as close as i can mm -hmm. like like right up right up to its uh 
<laughs> in its reach? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can still make uh, an attack when it's entangled, can't it? Yeah. Is he taking the jump? Did you did did you jump down? Yeah. Excellent. Okay. So uh, dexterity saving throw. DC twelve. Oh, can I do? Can I? I don't uh, think it's... you can. Can you? Can you make an attack because creature restrained by no, you can. can use it's, its uh, action. Creature no, near it, it, or, or be restrained. That's uh, that's uh, so I'll help oh, you guys out. Oh, it's restrained. Yeah, that. no, I can't. It's restrained. It, if you're restrained, you can still take attacks. They're just it's a just disadvantage. Oh, okay. Restrained okay. creatures speed becomes zero. Attack rolls against the yeah, creature you're disadvantage. Right. Yeah, attack rolls. The creatures attack rolls are disadvantage. It's still making attack rolls. Sorry. And um. So your dexterity save is sixteen. So you take half of two to six. Okay. How much do I take? Let's see. Two. Two. <laughs> two. <laughs> you okay. break a pencil. He breaks the mantle. He's about to use the sketch. He goes into a rage. It's okay. We find out Robert. My art supplies. How dare you? I mostly use charcoal, so it's fine. And I'll pull out for the first time in a long time. I'll pull out my rapier and I'll stab it. Okay, excellent. Do you have advantage? I have advantage. Let's see if we get a crit. So we, I, I assume we'll take the first attack with the corresponding damage. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah, so it's a 19 yeah, to hit with uh, 16 points of damage. Uh, for a total, yeah, 16. And then 16. Uh, offhand, I'll pull out my dagger and stab him with the dagger. Where are you stabbing it? Wherever because the, I can this find will space. affect uh, this will affect your 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 sketch. Oh yeah, yeah. It, it's gonna look different. Yeah. Oh. Not, uh, not the face. In it, in its belly. Not the face. Not the face. face. <laughs> I'll stab it. The man scores actually saying like, like, not the face. Not the face. Its its but, head is currently like it's you know if you can imagine um, a dragon tied to the ground. It's not quite a dragon, but it's it's its head is uncomfortably to the side, and it and it it's sort of it's it's wrapped around really uncomfortably um, on its left cheek. I scream, finish it. Uh, disregard the sneak on that one, and it's okay. oh, it's at still advantage. Uh, yeah, eleven misses. Anyone hits? Uh, I just no. want to and then the the damage minus the plus three because I don't have the weapon fighting. So That's it's three points. Uh, three points of damage. Three points of damage. Yeah. Thank you. And, easy for uh, me. Yeah, that was. I think. That was 25 feet to get here. Yeah. So, yeah. Do I want to take a step away from it? No. Oh, by the way, the I'm edge. stabbing. I'm stabbing into oh, its, uh, into, its into its main area. Its main. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And Good yeah, to know. I'll stay right where I am. Next up, scale tiller. It's looking pretty hurt. Um, you can see it's got it's it's bleeding heavily from multiple wounds, and um, it's it's in it's you know it's mm. it's just in kind of primal mode now. It's just it's struggling and and and, and fighting against these bonds, and you can see it, its eyes are darting around. Yeah, is, yeah just for just for flavor, um, is the head towards scales? Um... The, way know that the head up. is uh it's like it's looking so it would be as you look at this this token its right cheek would be on the ground and it's currently staring towards uh shannon right the scales would then push past uh robert <laughs> and just try and bring the the morning star down on its skull well while, while that's happening i'm sticking my tongue out at it um, oh, so that God. is a 15. Do it for. Yep, that 12. hits. 15 hits for 12 points of damage. Mm -hmm. And you just hear this this sickening crunch as the skull just sort of caves in slightly. You see that the, the, the eye socket that's not pressed to the ground just absolutely, it just shatters. And, and the, the that eye just turns in into just, you, you, like you can see the. The white of the eye turn red, and then the eye itself just liquidizes and begins to run down its cheek and drip onto the forest floor. 
Uh, is it still alive? Yes, it's screeching now. Where? And it, it, if anyone was was close by when it was speaking to its morsel in there, it now seems to be weirdly imitating a young child's cries in it's some sort of in some was. sort of primal uh, plea or last ditch effort for help. All it's right. assumed like the child's voice. Like a skinwalker would. Yes. All right, then offhand sickle. <laughs> oh, my fucking bell 20 just <laughs> crashed. Sorry, guys. Oh, no. Hey, that is an 18 to hit. That hits. 18 you... to hit for only one point of damage. Uh, the sickle just... Oh, plus, sorry, plus, plus the rage. So plus three the rage, points. minus three. The sickle just lops an ear off. And I like the goblin. As soon as as soon as the ear just lops off, you can see one of the vines from the entangled swallows go and just grab it and pull it down. Hmm. And that would be Scale's turn. Okay. Fenar. I'm gonna try some monk shit now, yeah, with this. <laughs> <laughs> because We've I was all been waiting for it. Everybody been... everybody take cover. Yeah, yeah, I was like cover. planning you now how to describe what I want to do because I want to like jump down, but I want to yeah. like on the edge, like dip, how do you say, like jump against the edge uh, side and just like that makes sense. Oh, so just, <laughs> so, oh, so you mean uh, just drop, springboard. drop off and do a, a, a kickoff? Yeah, yeah, like I'm um, jumping okay. towards like this. Uh, how do you think? Yeah on that edge and then okay. just like that uh dart myself towards the manticore so you're just gonna drop and then when you get halfway down just push off and hmm. uh, no, like against uh basically the mountain wall like just yeah. push it in the middle of it okay so you're gonna you're gonna drop halfway down and then push off the mountain wall yes yeah. yes okay excellent so you do that uh, um, do you want to make a dick save uh, do you can you nice. automatically negate falling damage as a monk? Not yet. Uh, not, yet. not yet. Okay, so let's roll a deck save. This is how we, there we how go. To do it. Easy it's setup. Easy. Um, so I'm gonna say if you so you're gonna push off. I, I mean, for the rule of cool here, I'm gonna say that you're probably gonna get straight to it. If you make the attack roll, you take no damage. Yeah, I've got to go straight through and just go with my quarter staff and just like. Okay, do you want to move your token over to where you want to land? Uh, like, if you hit with this, yeah, if you okay. if you hit with the quarter staff, you take no damage. Yeah. Okay. So because if I there, I've got to that uh, like, dart myself towards to there and gonna swing with the quarter staff. Okay. It's a petite, but I do have advantage. Mm -hmm. You do because yes, it's brown. Yeah. Thank goodness. Two nat ones. <laughs> Two nat ones. <laughs> you hit yourself in the face and then you hit the ground way harder than you expect. 16. 16 hits. That's six bludgeoning damage. Okay. So as you, 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 you just, you, 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 like you guys see the monk and he literally just jumps off and drops and drops and drops and then the legs as he just pushes out and sails forward. Just the, the quarter staff right behind his, oh, um, over his head and just, Whop, lands and just just clonks it right over the head. You, if it had still had two eyes, you would see them cross, but it doesn't. You need to see one eye just roll up into the back of its head, and it, it just again still seems to 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 be crying out. Don't hurt me! Don't hurt me, please, please! I'm just a young boy. Um, it's still alive. But uh, you've taken no damage from the twenty foot fall. Then it looked gonna... amazing. Then I'm gonna spend my last key point for your blows. Yeah. <laughs> Extreme. Burial of blows. Your oh, last key point to do what? Furry of blows. Oh, excellent. Okay. Furry of blows. Yeah, furry of blows. That's Michaela down there. <laughs> <laughs> so I so I've had still had one this day. So let's see. Eighteen's ahead. That's six. And is that just one extra attack, or can you do more? Yeah, I can do another one. Okay. And uh, that's 16. Yeah. So in total is 13. First, the first one killed it. Oh. Did it die well, my friend? Or did it die poorly? Uh, 
it died brutally because excellent I was, because i was still mad because i fell off a lot <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, you just see, so you just see the monk just take this this swan dive off off the cliff push off it with his back legs it's it's quarter stuff just raise smack down just leave this indent in 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 the center of this thing's head and then you just see this like just this brutal combo of just just hooks hooks uppercuts pop 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 and you see uh, until eventually you just hear this you just see it land at this almost haymaker but it's just far too quick and it's just this you hear this crack in the neck and it just and his head just lops to the left at a really weird angle do i get splattered with anything of um, Ooh, interest way, yeah. from the manticore like bits uh, um no just tears oh they taste delicious <laughs> 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 they taste the delicious okay um, careful, careful michaela your wood is showing oh i know sorry sorry <laughs> bring it back <laughs> um yes uh well done um, i can't believe we got it guys I mean, like, the odds were against you on that one, to be honest really? with you. Um, <laughs> it did some serious damage with the tail attacks, and it has 20, it has 24 of those yeah, for a long rest. 24? Oh, yeah, I, was, take, yeah. I was legitimately panicking for this fight. Yeah, I, uh, I was panicking also, especially, like, I you guys did a lot of damage there. Incredibly well, though. Yeah. Like, it, mm. against the odds, some really good fucking teamwork and some I, really just, great use of spells. I mean, I'm annoyed I didn't get to make big Lamud. That's okay. Also, we can we can get we can do that next time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, that, can you only turn into the direwolf? Uh, no, I've got a couple of others that I oh, okay. haven't. But don't, don't don't tell anyone. It's always no, don't tell us. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So if you, turn into, when if you, you could just... have turned into a flying creature, I'm not gonna lie, gigantic flying creature. I'm not gonna lie. That was a buffed manticore as well. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, nice. Because exactly. I was here. Uh, well, yeah, yeah pretty much. Had to. Um, <laughs> it felt stronger yeah. than the ones we fought in. Um, it had thirty extra hit points. Plan, yeah. Um. So I, I want to saunter those. up to the manticore. Okay. And just you know, start getting a feel for the animal and the, uh, what it is. Yeah, it's uh, a like, curious. It's a curious mixture of. Um, I knew and what intelligence. it was I, yeah. I, I rolled and I my yeah 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 but, but I mean there's not much to be had in the way of there um, must be a token survival a supplies oh, the, yeah, yeah well like in in by way of um of food to eat you will get nothing from this but by way of spell components and things to sell it's it's rich I want to yeah, um, start carving at it in terms of things to sell unless they give you an arcana check um yes you can roll an arcana check yes, or not, if any or survival guys, de depending on, uh, on i'll what give you, you a survival um, of course and i can i give uh advantage on a survival can i get in on an arcana yeah check? you can <laughs> if he cool. just jumps so on do i go Everyone. for advantage <laughs> or do, do you roll for that or okay um you guys uh, survival um, so uh, yeah you roll survival as well. oh wow i needed that what did five. you get? She got a five, but she's rolling with advantage. She needs a, to roll oh, another one. Right. Okay. Uh, I'll roll another one. By Be the better. way, Dave, does that hole look? No. Nope. Nice? Oh, come on, Michaela. <laughs> does that Hang on one second, Ren. I'll get you now in one second. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> um... It's so fucking bad. <laughs> I'm uh, a, this is what I do. Like this is my job. This is why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> Oh, I think I'm oh, I'm too yeah. disturbed, pardon the pun, from from, um, oh, <laughs> from actually like hearing the child's cries. I'm I'm guessing that has some PTSD for me because I was a child once left in the woods. Yeah, it, it, yeah, you you sort of revert yeah. to that place, and it's a uh, it's not oh. nice. I, yeah. I wanna... Okay, so how does your roll go? Sorry, because I was busy looking for my creature loot table. Mine was shite, so I'm not, I'm actually not going to harvest the beast. No, you, but I mean, it was so bad um, that you you may have ruined it for the next. Person. Oh, I, I I can hack at it. If, uh, yeah. Uh, well, um, anyone else like to make it I got, a try? I got a twenty three in the Arcana. You said we could check using Arcana. Yeah. Um. Okay. Cool. So um, but and you rolled first in fairness. So I'm going to give you. Uh, da, 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 now, I can da, da, da. my I might locate something, but whether it gets cut out or not, that's up to you. Because yeah, yeah, well, yeah. if you want to roll a d8, d8. 
Sorry, hold on. Uh, sorry, roll a one. First, roll a one d three. So d six, one to two, three to four, or five to six. You can just do a d three on this, right? Yeah. So it's a two. All right, two. So um, so you get one d two manticore wings. They act as a blanket, can be crafted with leather workers tools into a cloak that imposes advantage on wisdom animal handling checks made to tame griffins and wyverns. Ooh. Um, I will kind of... Now you need dagger. a successful survival roll. Yeah, Ran as a dagger, so I'm going to try cut the wings off. Okay, cool. Um, unfortunately, uh, you were before uh, Shallon, so I won't give you disadvantage. So uh, I'm going to say survival, uh, DC, DC 12. Can we say that like he's he's going along with Herbs and taking all the good bits, but I'm you know, following I the, behind I the, I and this up, so. meat mashing the shit out okay. of it. Okay, like. uh, yes, if you wish. Uh, so ten. So yeah, okay. So look, it's two below the DC. Um, and where's my thing gone? So let's just say you get one one manticore wing. Grant that. So I can use that to create a blanket. You can you can use it to create. It currently acts as a blanket. Or it can be crafted with leather worker steels into a cloak that imposes an advantage on wisdom, okay. animal handling checks to tame griffins and wyverns. Okay, that's which interesting. Is that will come in handy. A very random fucking, uh, uh, but uh, <laughs> a very fortuitous, for very uh, fortuitous um, role given that what you're what you're about to to encounter. Hey, hey Scales, so, come here. You have a big backpack. Just that everyone's like kind of rolling it up and like. And that is what you get from the strap. Now, Shallon, you want to just what? You just wanted to butcher it and to take bits? Uh, Shallon? Okay, you on mute. You're on Sorry, mute. Sorry, um, Christian was talking smack about me in the Twitch chat, saying <laughs> saying that I don't, I, I roll just as good as a rugby player. And I was trying to work out who that rugby player was. No, um, no, I wasn't calling Ren Rhino, by the way, D Ren Rhino. Um, <laughs> I, uh, do you do you want to roll uh, one one d eight? Uh, I Shalana? can do. Uh, that's oh. a seven. <laughs> you get. <She's... laughs> okay. What? 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 what do I do? He's a he's a kicker for uh, South, South Africa. Africa. Yeah. But he he like he's been having a bit of a rough time. Mm -hmm. Like. Like and then does he bringing... make comebacks like this no, where he rolls the no, seven they keep and not bringing not, other people not because he's he's only jo he's like the he's the highest played paid rugby player in the world his yeah. only job is to kick the ball over the like the balls and it doesn't happen in the kind of the free so, kick scenario hey, yeah. so yeah, he, he doesn't similar. actually like he does not have to actually engage with like yeah we like like every time he messes man. up he loses us the game that's the spring box right the spring. yeah okay uh back on track you get 20 teeth 20 manticore th uh, teeth. They can uh, be carefully crafted into into dice if, if you wish, or 20 teeth can also act as a bag of Like caltrops. in real life? Yeah, You're going to exactly. send me 20 teeth. <laughs> I, well, I mean, I'm not talking about... Polyhedral dice. It's been a long time it. since I've sent anyone teeth. Uh, so, um, <laughs> Michaela? Yes. There you go. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. There Excellent. it is. It'll only take two years to come from <laughs> South Africa. Don't wait, hold yeah, it up again. Yeah, I didn't yeah. see it. <laughs> um, so you get uh, 20, oh, yeah. 20 manticore teeth. They can, God. like I say, you can bring them to a jeweler and they'll, they can craft them into dice, or you can use them as a bag of caltrops. I, I like to think that when I have Ren meant to go over the other wing, and uh, Michaela had already, or uh, what's her name again? I, I forgot the name. Shalan. Uh, Shalan had already gone to the wing and just started poking holes in it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, the other one's ruined. Yeah. Um, <laughs> He's just looking at her, just like fire is starting to crackle up in his hands. So, I mean, I'm going to say that this takes about 20 minutes to, uh, to extract. Like, <laughs> so, why, why, why? Sh Sh Shalan just does. She, she, she's like, you're using two daggers as a, as a sort of extraction tool to try and <laughs> rinse the teeth out. And you just, you could, the, the gums of this creature are absolutely ruined because you don't have some sort of uh, set, like set of pliers or anything like, like that. So you're just, you've, you've kind of tied the, the old just bits get of my uh, dried, dried guts. Yeah, it's it, it's very, um, it's not an exact science at all. And it's, uh, it's depending on your proclivity, it's either entertaining or horrific to watch. I would say um, um, horrific, but it's she both. doesn't yeah. see it that way. Like yeah, it's, it's just business as usual. Business. Uh, yeah. Robert is While this is happening with what and, she's doing. Yeah. I'm interested in its quills. Its Ooh, quills. Can I have uh, the tail spikes. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, roll me a... I've got one right here, look. Yeah, I still see you. Um, you can there. roll me a 1d20. It's got 1D20. blood on it and everything. <laughs> yeah, um, I just want to know if I, if Anar can take the quality through back at the Manticore just to retrieve it. Yeah, you can. That's a trophy at this stage. It's like, yeah, yeah it's um, bragging rights in the pub. Yeah, that's why I was thinking. You certainly can. So 1d20. Sorry, I'm ten. not on the page. Uh, ten. I rolled a ten. So you yeah. get ten uh, Manticore tail spikes. How big are they? Um, they uh, they act as darts that deal one d six damage instead of one d four, and they break upon use. Okay, but, but like dart finesse weapon dart. Yes. <laughs> so you've ten of those. They 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 deal one d six damage instead of one d four, but they break nice. upon use. So it's like my daggers, just better. <laughs> yes. Yes. So but you've oh, ten of that those. reminds me. No, I didn't throw any daggers. Okay. Cool. And so, Dave, while all of this is going on, can I yeah. check that hole over there? You can. I was just, I was just about to get to that. So, if someone like, yeah, if you, if you were, if you were all getting stuck into the Manticore, this would have taken about twenty minutes, and you would have mm. heard like a very quiet whimpering from inside. Yeah, this no. Hole. So, I, I'm uh, while they butchering the Manticore, I wanted yeah. to look at that hole. Okay, cool. So, so as sorry, Jaden, you did, you, did, uh, did you want to say something? Well, uh, yeah, no, I was going to say essentially the same thing. It was, I wasn't sure if this feature beside me here to the right is was was something that doing the same thing as the mud. But if um, if that's where is, the hole is, no, this is where the hole is here. This is just yeah, yeah. Um, cool. decoration. I didn't read that. Like, like, heard from, something from it yeah. yeah, it was like it was just whimpering, and it was this. You know, this thing was uh, speaking in in, in uh, into into the hole and uh, calling calling something morsel. Mm. Well, obviously, the manticore oh, couldn't fit yeah, all. Yeah. yeah, so I mean, I, I've got dark vision and yeah. So the first thing, dark. so so so, what is the first face this uh, this terrified little boy sees? Is 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 it, is it the face of a half orc or a human? It would be the face of a half orc, I guess. <laughs> okay. Can I can I okay. cast reduce Excellent. on the mud before we go? <laughs> I mean, with his consent, you certainly can. And it doesn't have to be with his consent. Are you just going to cast it on him? Yeah, it, it's up to him. Jesus Christ. I mean, so that's consent. Is there a, <laughs> is there a save r related to it? Yeah, oh, there I mean, would be, yeah. If he yes, wants to reduce yeah. you, there's a save. Or he can he can inform you that he's going to cast it. And you can either, you know, accept it or not accept it. I'm, I'm going to say I'm casting it. But then as, as, like, with it, as I say it, I cast it. So it's kind of like... Yeah, so I'm not, I'm so not sure where the equivalent is going. Of, of think fast. What's Jaden yeah. doing? Yeah, I'm not sure where that is going, so I'm gonna try and save against it. Okay, yeah. roll, so, roll the save. Um, uh, what it's, save is it? Uh, thirteen. I am. Let me see. Con save. Con. Uh, <laughs> I did not see this con. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yes. a tiny level. Oh my god! Okay, so so, um, so Ren just a, cu a, a curious, a, a curious bear. sequence oh. of events happens. <laughs> um, so you see L Lamud in all his kind of like half orcish um beefiness, so sort of just just kind of lean over, one hand on on the top of of this hole, and and, and one on, on the ground as he just leans, leans in and goes, "Hello." And uh, <laughs> then he just becomes really small, one size yeah. smaller. Yeah, and so the hand is about the size of a halfling now. Yeah, so the hand slips, the, the like hand that was up, at the, you know, kind of, kind of gripping the top of, of this hole just slips <laughs> off it. And and he ends up on, on his on his back uh, with his little legs kicking and his, and his little hands going. <laughs> Best part and, is everything shrinks with them, so he's not just like in like yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 yeah. So you hear um you, you hear um kind of a and then a, <laughs> a little laughter for like from inside. And for context, when Ren was casting it, you obviously you use iron, you use like iron dust. He like you know salt bay. Did that <laughs> over the mud. <laughs> it's like can this be any more insulting? Okay. Uh, um, well, do we hear this laugh? <laughs> well, the, I mean, the moment the little one, or I mean, I mean, the little one laughs. That was like, like yeah, that was the like, idea like, to make it seem less threatening to the kid. Uh, he's, you know, like, he's actually a half orc now. <laughs> <laughs> Halfling orc, quarter orc in chat. Yeah, thanks, thanks, <laughs> thanks, Drew. I love that. 
Uh, yes, sir. That's a my, my man. You know. <laughs> my man. Um, okay, so um, roll with this. this little fella is here now. Yeah, so he sort of pokes his head out, and you can see he's got kind of sandy, blondy hair. He's filthy, um, and you can you can you can just see kind of like tear stains cutting through the, the filth in his cheeks. Um, his his hands and his elbows are cut. He's covered in covered in honey, uh, dried honey, and. Uh, <laughs> His, his, no clothes, his to cl- eat so clothes are ripped <laughs> to shreds. And he's like, is it dead? Yeah. Is, did you yeah. kill it? Yeah. Yep. Well, it, he did. it won't yeah, bother you again. Her. Did my daddy send you? Sort of. We kind of at, went at, to him and asked if we could when, come for you. He didn't really send anyone. Is he paying we, you? We, no. When he said that, uh, I'm just gonna, you know, take the Jesus, bandana. Man. Or... Spare the fucking kids' feelings, right? <laughs> that, yeah. That's, you know, that's, uh, that's currently uh, around Lamut's neck. Uh, the, red band- the red bandana that yeah. uh, uh, Ren gave to Lamut that belonged to Bren. So I'm just gonna take that uh, off uh, around Lamut's neck and hold it out to, to Bren and say, uh, he sent us to find you. Okay, so, so Brent snatches it off here and just ties it around his head, kind of Rambo style. And again, he, he looks to Ren and he and he and he says, "Did my daddy employ you?" But he didn't pay us. We're trying to. Did he uh, promise you a reward? Did he? I don't. I don't remember. No, he didn't. Yeah, no. Uh, he kind of owes us one though. To be honest, like we did have to kill a Manticore, so you should really tell him he should pay us. Did he send you? Back. Did Did he send you to rescue me? He didn't send us. We, we decided to come ourselves. We went to him and asked him. Did he entreat him. you to rescue me? No. It was our decision. If, if I have decided us, we would have demanded payment. Wow. I have decided that he will most likely give you a reward. That means you work for me. No. Yes. No, because uh, no, we, we you. saved you. No, and he no, points no, to you no. and you butcher that creature. No, no. And carry the remains home. No. No, you see how this works is we saved you, you owe us. Not the other way around. My father owes you, therefore you work for him. You, He, he no, will pay that's you. That's not how that works. Therefore you are his employees. That's not how that works. And he walks out. I don't have a token for it. I can let me just drag one off from oh, somewhere else. This is the type of guy don't to think, don't, this, this don't need the type it. of kid to think the customer is always right, isn't he? <laughs> Absolutely. He's going back um, now. <laughs> um, and he, do, I, like, I don't, like, don't have a token for him, but he walks out and he just starts picking, picking bits in the manticore. And he goes, and then he looks to, he looks to uh, Jaden and he goes, you, come. Yeah. Do he, I, do I he's see not going to react to that. Do I see yeah. him do this? Yeah, he's got a serious wanna, case of, of the little shits. Yeah, I want to walk over and knock him, knock him out. No explanation, nothing. I'm walking from there. Let's let's let's. So uh, you're obviously declaring non-lethal. Yes. Okay. Good. 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 (laughs) (laughs) Excellent stuff. But Uh, he's getting knocked out and thrown over my shoulder like a big sack of spuds. Robert is like Robert is like glowing and freaking post or uh, post exotic (laughs) creature. (laughs) (laughs) What do I roll Uh, with? Drew Keynes says, "Kid Karen." (laughs) <laughs> yeah, do, exactly. Do, do Annie, do Annie Entitled know little stone shit. Um, yes. Do Annie Sorry. Have stone you can there? just roll a. You can roll a d twenty and add your strength modifier um, uh, for, for an unarmed so strike. So d twenty. Yeah. So roll. <laughs> uh, so it's 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 one plus your strength modifier for the damage. Strength is minus one, so fourteen. No. What, so you, what's your? Damage. So your strength is. So, what would your strength damage be? So, one. It would be plus one. one, is it? Yes, yeah. plus one. Sorry. So you do two points of damage, and that is not just the child. Okay. Hold on, no, your strength <laughs> is minus one. Well, that's so what you, I said the first yeah, time. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I just missed that. So it's, uh, yeah, you hit the child for one point of damage, which is which is enough to knock it out. Okay. Um, <laughs> catch it square in the temple, and it leaves a kind of worryingly large bruise. I'm not worried. Um, if anyone okay. asked the Manticore did that. I um I actually like tie him up like so his his arms and his legs, and I want to like you know put him on a, a branch, like and you know, 
Like Return Poison of the Jedi. Uh, yeah, pretty much. No. Exactly. No, can we like that. Back exactly can we like that. Back? <laughs> no, amazing. I, they treat just... different. They treat kids differently in Colorado over the Northwest. Yeah, so, <laughs> sh- 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 but I, I just want to pick up like the end part and be like, I'm looking at everybody. I'm going, come on. Like so you, so you, you don't the... need someone on the on the other side of it. It's just like a bindle. Oh, it's okay, just right. like it's just like you're going up, <laughs> going on an adventure with your stick and the and the and the, and the little sack tied to the end of it's it. Like, it's like a homeless person. It's like yeah, homeless yeah. Thing yeah. In a except cartoon. they're the bundle at the end. <laughs> Drew Shut Drew Kane says D and D Tusler are on the way. So shall I? I understand. If they didn't come after Ren after last session, I think we're fine. I was starting to magic missile the entire school. Like. <laughs> Okay, cool. Um, so, so Shalon, I understand the the feeling towards this kid, but this is no way to treat the kid, no matter how much of an arsehole he is. No, he deserved it. No. no and he was I'm clicking, going, no, he's am, clicking his fingers. He's I'm going to fingers. argue with you all the way on this. He is still a sentient being, and there is no need to treat him like an animal. He needs to be oh. humbled. Knocking him out is enough and I, I, to I carry, it. Uh, Actually, I turn to the group and I say, where do we need to drop him off? Temple Town. And also, the Manticore was a sentient being. We butchered that. There's a bit of a yes. hole in your argument there, Lamud. I understand <laughs> where you're coming from. But you, you did, did, a hole did, in your argument. Did, 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 did the child attack anyone? Uh, in verbally. verbally, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. And poor Jaden's feelings are hurt. He clicked his fingers. She's out of line, but she's not right. Overly. The child right. is safe. We aren't going to hurt him. Yeah, so he's safe. I'm going to use. Um, He'll wake up uh, eventually. Right. Yeah, I'm just going to use primal savagery to cut him free of his bonds. Can I stop him from doing that? And I, and you I'll, go out and and if I'll, you want it. And I'll, <laughs> while I'm doing that, I'm I'll still say, tiny, I'll, by the way. Hold on, hold on. Let's let's start it back here for a second. So, what does primal savagery do? <laughs> Uh, basically, like I uh, my claw, uh, my fingers extend into claws that I can use for an attack. Okay, so you see that the druid do this, um, Shalan. Um, what do you want to do? I want to counter in some way. Um, okay, and- so I mean, I guess. Well, well, you can do you can do one of two things. You can either you can either punt the child, so <laughs> do it. it's, do it. it's out of his range. Yeah, that's that's exactly what I'm gonna do. do um, I will punt the child. Thank by you. By the way, just um, Lamud is still tiny, so <laughs> it's very tiny true. Plus. And yeah. he also will do one d four less damage than you what you originally Little would have done. Damage. I don't want to oh, do any I'm, damage to anybody. I'm not. I'm not trying to do any damage. I know, but damage to the ropes. So okay, go, go, go. One, so it's a less than one. <laughs> Shalan punts the child. Um, you, unfortunately, uh, you you are too small to like she's she she has the child at an angle so it's definitely it's 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 above head height for her um unla- unless you're really good at jumping well, well you don't think you're gonna be able to thinking... reach this unless you want to well, try and cli- climb her oh I, I will wild shape if i have to okay this, this is getting serious well, you got now. a wild you got a wild shape now but you didn't during the fight how can we um yeah. Okay, okay, I mean, this is getting heated, so, like... I, it I sure mean, is. Uh, uh, and I, I just want to see what the rest of the characters are going to do to try and calm this down. This was well, Robert, uh, was one, but, uh, Robert wanted to do something. Yeah, what, what well, everyone did. is, like, yeah. trying to, uh, like, fight or something. Robert's going to go up to Jaden and put his hand on his shoulder and say, uh, don't let the kid get to you. He's just a bully. Like, it's fine. <laughs> Robert was so badly bullied as a child. I, you can just tell. Yeah, I mean, who wasn't? Can we go? But... Can we? Can we go kill Robert's childhood bully, please? <laughs> but no, is just gonna sit that, like, just sit at the top there, just watching like a tennis game. Yeah. So, 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 so Jaden is gonna turn to go. That's that's fair, but I'm okay. Um, and then, <laughs> and, and and then and then he's actually going to step forward between Lamud and um, Shalan and um, go. Let's stop this now. What we're going to do is we're going to cut him free from the bonds because that that's a bit too much. I will carry him. We'll bring him back when he wakes up. We can continue walking with him. As soon as Jaden says that, 
I slice them with my daggers on the bonds, not not lethal. <laughs> yeah. Not lethal. <laughs> yeah. He does. Yeah. He does. Yeah. I sliced you, Aiden. I slice. I, I slice the child over now. Now nobody has a kid. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. He's dead. He's yeah. dead yeah. because yeah. of you. <laughs> Why do they do that? Okay, cool. He's just gonna cool. take the bandana and just slide it down over the kid's mouth and be like, "No, no, 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 no." I, 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 I make him gonna... fall from a respectable height, so he, yeah. he gets a yeah. bump yeah. when he yeah. falls. Yeah, he like, gets a little I hope his arse yeah, yeah, is yeah, yeah. hurt. It is. Uh, it is. Yeah. yeah. Not in a priestly way. Right. So, so he doesn't so, talk. So and then Jaden is going to heft him over the shoulder. Okay, so you heft him over the shoulder. Yeah. So yeah, with it, you know, Lemud will just give a give a sigh and you know nod and. Just kind of walk off a bit. Yeah, I mean, you, you, everyone definitely feels that they've learned a lot about each other, um, and not, not like not during the life-threatening combat, but you know, the aftermath. Um, I mean, Ren's not okay with hitting a kid, but at the same time, that kid really deserved it, so he's kind of torn. Mm -hmm. He's I mean, just like, yeah, uh, is that? Yeah, he I needed mean, a good slap. Now. He needed it. He needed it. But like, are we? Is it okay for us to have been the one to give it? Kind of thing is when, like if he snaps his fingers again, I'm going to break them or cut them off. So I it's mean, up to him. Like, okay, so let's just say. Um, have some words with do, you, do you guys want to take a long rest here, or do you want to yes. take a rest, or do you yeah. want to just like so? If you yes, if you take a long, long rest, rest, there will be repercussions. If mm. oh, well, well, there will be. Um, oh no! Sorry, we can't take the long rest. We yeah. need to get back. <laughs> yeah. Before does anybody? Really need to get back. Does anybody have any sort of healing that they wouldn't I, mind parting with? I I. Most certainly do. Oh, you? Would you, oh, oh, would you, yeah. would you like some? <laughs> oh, um, this is awkward. <laughs> um, Actually, I don't need it. See, see all those things about that kid. I mean, geez, so, no. Like... So, t just because I want to do it, how do you approach Lamud and ask him for you? <laughs> I'm like, uh, oh man, the shoulder. <laughs> like, look, look at this bar, man. Like, like, look, and then all you see is this, like pulsing gaping wound and this horrible barb and like <laughs> i'm just sweating i'm like oh man it's like first off you're, you're like you're gonna need something to push it through <laughs> it, it needs to go through and through you can't pull it out does it, it has I to mean, come I out can, the back yeah I, it'll I have can, to go, it'll, yeah, it'll have to go down, through and through but, uh, yeah so it's it's, it's, it's it's just flavor it's not going to cause any more damage but, it, but, but it's I'm just gonna, yeah, so, i'm going to turn to the mud and i'm going to say oh i wonder if i run against that tree if it'll come out the other side very easily what do you think uh Rain, have you dropped the reduce yet? Um, it would have dropped after a minute, so yeah, probably. Okay, probably. yeah. So I look, would have assumed uh, after you failed to like cut the thing, you just started to grow. While he's, <laughs> yeah. while he's doing that, um, Shalan is eyeing up a tree. So um, is like you know doing it. the Pythagoras theorem yeah. on how she's going to approach the tree so, and smash yeah. this thing out the back of her shoulder blade well this is so, happening ren sets his so some lethal weapon shit like the wound. <laughs> so i'm gonna i'm gonna assume uh shalan is shorter than the mood no i'm an elf i'm raimundo says flashbacks right. of a certain orc and some nonchalant oh cantrips. you're an orc yes and I'm an orc. Uh, and drew kane says my, my, my knuckles hurt from where i punched the child <laughs> <laughs> so uh Lemur is just gonna walk up to uh shalan and you know look down oh, at yeah. her and place his hand on the bulb that's sticking out and push it in, you know, as hard as he can through to the other side. And as uh, Lamut's hand touches uh, your shoulder, uh, you're going to hear him say, uh, where was it again? Sorry, I didn't find it. Yeah, he's going to say um, Sharog. And he is going to cast Cure Wounds at first level. It's the weirdest Cure Wounds you've ever experience but it 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 does the job sweet yeah. well how much of a job does it do well, that's fine we will see now <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, uh, deadpan with the uh hey. the only sony <laughs> gif in her discord thank chat. You. yes <laughs> yeah i appreciate eight. that you're up eight thank you um, and okay so you guys want to take a short rest or do you want to get the fuck out of here uh get, get the fuck out of here yeah okay Question. can i have somebody roll me 2d20 please I'm just gonna cure wounds. Um, oh, you have another one. Okay, cool. Yeah. Who rolled the two to twenty? Uh, Robert. Robert. Four and seventeen. Okay, so you guys make it past, uh, back past the um, the area where you fought uh, the giant boar. Curiously, it's been stripped clean. There, there's a few stains in the forest floor, but bones, this wyvern's here. 
bones and um, and flesh, and just and you know anything consumable is gone. Am I able like, to gone, decipher gone. decipher what a like they weren't dragged? Were they dragged away? They were plucked, plucked Wyvern. from the sky. Wyvern. Mm. I'm guessing Wyvern. Either that or some freakishly large mosquitoes. Yes. That's also very, possible. Very I'd like to discuss that theory. <laughs> okay, and I need another 2d20. Who else would like to roll 2d20? Okay. If roll 20 would do it, I typed the thing in. Okay, here we go. It only rolled one. Uh, was it two? No, it, it's been weird to me. Okay, just roll another one. Yeah, roll another one. Is that two twos? No, it didn't roll the second one. No, there's two rolls for two. Mm -hmm. But it didn't show that the second roll it said rolling 2d20. Yeah, but it rolled it in chat. It yeah. just, it? The oh, okay. 3d yeah, dice was... didn't roll, okay. so... Yeah. Way, to, way to go, champ! <laughs> Everyone's saying, run! Run! Run in chat! <laughs> so, um, as you leave the forest and you're about... We have the kid to use his bait, don't worry. You sure do, and why burns a parcel of children? They are. And, I mean, in, in an Eastern. like Catholic priests. Um, no, not that way. <laughs> so, sorry, bear in mind we have an audience. Carrie, so, I'm, um, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, um, the joke. as you leave the forest, you're about uh, two hours away from Temple Town. You hear a screech from the background. It's Ultra Karen. Don't yeah. get wrong. <laughs> And you would like to make a perception check? Yes. Yeah. I would, yes. Uh, 16. 16. Oh, what? I I am just so annoyed about not getting a chance to beat the child. Phrasing. <laughs> it was, was a shame. Okay. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Obviously, spotted my glass. Oh, Archer. Yeah, yeah nice. <laughs> Amazing. Um, okay, so uh, those who rolled, uh, sorry, those who rolled above a 12, you guys see um, several miles, maybe as the as the Wyvern flies, um, probably eight to nine miles away, you can see um, a very obvious Wyvern just hovering, hovering above the, the forest canopy. Um, sort of scanning your direction, um, but just sort of uh ranger and druid roll a survival check please all right god for still having mage armor robert's just sad because it's too far 16. away to properly draw 16 oh, no, <laughs> nine um shalan you this is you you've heard these cries before um in parts of the forest in Calaril that you've had to you know that you've been part of um uh, expeditionary forces to reclaim, um, and this is this is a, a screech of mating. Um, it's amazing. No, 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 of, of 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 possession and domination. It, uh, and you've yeah. heard this before. They, they these these creatures typically sort of emit this uh, this kind of higher pitched screech than they normally do for a period of one or two months when they when they sort of claim a new piece of territory. Okay. Oh, so it's moved into the area. Okay. I so relay it's... that, obviously, to the group. In a very, I know my shit way. Yeah. At least we know where to go when we. And I can, fight I it. can obviously see it, right? And... Uh, yeah, it's a dot. Like it's, it's like eight or nine miles away, seven or eight, okay, or, or like okay, nine okay. miles away. Um, but it's. Can I tell what it's hovering over? Like, is it a piece it's, of it's, land it's, that it, I'm at a No, it, it, it's literally just like hovering over the canopy of the forest that you just left. Right. Okay. But like, like it, 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 this forest is like you could travel <laughs> for like three weeks through it and not see the other side. Okay. Robert, uh, Robert's starting to like uh, Shalon more and more. She knows about creatures. She knows her shit. Yeah, <laughs> could be useful. I know my creatures. Okay. And I still need to actually uh, on that point. I would still need to specify my favorite terrain and my favorite creature so i could have very have... easily said beast during that interaction but yeah I just... and then you would have been tied to it yeah but i would have been tied to it and yeah, i yeah. think so... actually in my heart of hearts i'm gonna name dragons yeah that's fine yeah we can we can favorite. we can go into yeah we yeah. can go into um we can go into uh detail 
about that Which off stream. Michaela is invited if we go to hunt the, uh, the wyvern. Very much uh, so. No, there's me getting attached to my my character. I made half an hour before the stream started. So. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's like forged in fire, forged in the heat of combat. Exactly. And forged it's like and, 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 you know, you know every, everyone in, in uh, chat like the cut. Yeah, your right, character so mm -hmm. um Hope so as 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 this screech happens <laughs> um who's currently i feel that reverberate Jayden, uh, my do well, Jaden, you feel sort of kind of your little package kind of sort of tussle and, <laughs> and oh and no rephrasing phrasing your tiny and, package and he's like put me down at once employee hit him again, hit him again. put me down at once you work for me shalan hit him again and I'm, nope, I'm gonna. No, I'm not gonna touch him. Take him down, but I, like, I, I, I don't know what kind of pace we're moving at here. I don't know if this uh, has yeah, has, has fast, sped us up, but yeah, I've got it to hasn't it. really. Like, Shalan has, has sort of said that you know it's it's sort of uh, when 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 wyverns do this, they're sort of announcing to the world. It it it, it didn't particularly spot you. It's just yep. it it they do this for a period of weeks and gotcha. months, yep. and just to, to sort of scare any threats away. Uh, it's it's just a, a, a kind of a very loud announcement that I am tactic. here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I figured we'd be moving at a fast pace, considering we have to get back to the town before nightfall in our like minds, because the the thing with the card witch, we want to be we agreed last. Well, I, mean, yeah, I, mean, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. You can you can yeah. you can certainly move fast. So he's, yeah. he's so so, so, can, it's, so it's very much a like let him down and and, and let him kind of walk, but you know he kicks you in the, the scruff, shin, scruff of the neck, but like as, and like carrying him almost. Do I see the, him kicking the scruff, him in scruff the, of the neck and yeah. just he continuing yeah. him along with the, the the pace of the party? He misses. So he rolls a five and tries to kick you in the shin, and misses. Right. You just yeah yeah like you just lift your shin. He 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 uh, doesn't connect. <laughs> luckily for him, um, <laughs> shin kick, and he, and he, a shin kick could break someone's leg. They'll be careful with that. <laughs> Robert, uh, and Robert's just, gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna ch channel my father and say to the kid, "Stop struggling. We're gonna take you home, or we're gonna feed you to the wither. It's up to you." I like this guy. <laughs> Roll intimidation, my friend, with advantage. Because that is a horrible threat. <laughs> I like. I, I like that idea. Intimidation. That's a minus one. <laughs> With advantage, oh, though. but not 16. bad. Roll again. Oh, okay. That's good. Because I like the threat. It's a very real and present threat. Four is For how 16. it looked to everyone but the kid. Sixteen is how it looked to the kid. Four, four is what you heard out loud. Sixteen is what he whispered. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's and the child just goes. And he looks down. And <laughs> fucking hell, <laughs> when uh, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. I mean, that or we could put you back in that hole, yeah. And then, like, he, he settles down, and uh, for about most of maybe the last three quarters of the journey, he, he's very quiet and he's very in his place. Um, Shalan, give me a perception check. I thought that was going to be one for, a for, the la for the last half hour, he's walking behind you doing this. I, I realize that, that, right? Yeah. I I want to stop to give them enough time to get in front of me. And then, like, but not too far in front of me. Like, yeah. just, just enough so that I can edge my ankle out every maybe 10 paces and make him trip okay. the whole entire way. Okay. Like, just so, so he's unsuspecting now a battle of, of wills. it. Yeah, <laughs> just just like you know, putting my my ankle out and making him triple. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry, I didn't see you. Or like, or like walk behind. It, ta it, it takes him. It takes him an, an unusually long time to learn his lesson. But by the time you march into Temple Town and back to the meadery, uh, let me just get everyone into the same place here, and I'll copy over. Do, 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 do. Fucking little shit. Oh, just wait, for, just wait for what Ren has to say to his dad. I'm not. I'm not gonna oh, lie to you guys. Oh, oh, I'm not done yet. I'm not gonna lie to you. There, there, out. there is a reason that his dad lets him go away for days on end, looking for honey. Out of interest, Shalon, <laughs> how old are you? You're talking to the child. To no, no, Shalon. Shalon, how, oh, yeah. how old are you? How old do I look? 
<laughs> it's a trap. Inside. <laughs> well, you're an elf. It's really hard well, you're, you're, you're an elf, so I can say any number between 50 and 250, and I might be right. Well, you, you could say that about human years also. No. I mean, what's no, your point? No, you couldn't. You couldn't. You could say between one and, well, obviously not one, maybe 20 and whatever <laughs> no. year humans live to, like no. 60, 70. That's, that's not accurate at all. We age much faster. I'm yeah, 75 years old. Oh, you're basically still a right. child. And, <laughs> and, and, oh, old by our standards, but not by your own. Shalom to I, I thought that would have been about teenage years or, or like yeah. late it, teens? It, Yes, it would be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. Is that legal age? Because... Like 20 like, something. I mean, it, it's... like uh, it's. Are we el- over 21 with that? You. Well, I mean, if you want to be, you are. From human years? Yeah, no, you would, if you want to be, you are. It's 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 it would be up to, up to up to you. Like, I haven't really gone into that she much just, depth without, with, like, with elven culture, so... Don't elves reach one. maturity at the same age as humans? It's just they're not considered adults. I think, yes, I think. I based yeah, yeah, that yeah. off a dwarf sage who was, like, legal. Mm. Yeah. yeah. What do cool. you think, Shuan? Uh If I remember correctly, you know, rules as written wise, elves mature at uh, a hundred. Great, yeah. right? That's okay, it. Suddenly, all the men get arrested. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I would be like the equivalent of a twenty-one-year-old human. Mm. Perfect. But yes, so, uh, the same. so, yeah. So, to <laughs> answer your question, Shalon, uh, just call it curiosity. Hey guys, it makes a lot of sense. Did you say rolling? You better make us roll initiative. Guys, I saw that turn. No, right? I cleared the turn order. All right. Yay! I saw. I So you guys make it back to the metery, and uh, let me just. Uh, do you know what I'm going to do? Where's the school? Just for shits and giggles. No. <laughs> no. 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 I'm just going to copy it. So, one, one of the children. Are, just, my just my age should be around a hundred, right? Uh, yeah, around, about about yeah. hundred. Then you should be about yeah. twenty-one. So we'll say yeah. hundred and five. Just to be safe. Like, she's seen some shit, but she's yeah. not quite matured. Cool. So, yeah, like, I'm for Does somebody still have the child restrained? No. No. I, I, well, no, yeah, I've, I've kind of been, like, dr- like ha- hand on the shoulder, back of the scruff of the neck, like, back making the sure neck. the pace continues. Okay, okay excellent, excellent. Forced march, yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. So you want to move yourself up um, and... Uh, and- We'll force march him in there. Ren has already c- c- come in just to yeah, deliver Ren's the, just fired try and soften like the blow. No, like the and Andrew goes, Daddy, Daddy. Oh, these, no. yes. Daddy, these ruffians manhandled me. And that, where's where's Thank the whore? Life. Stop talking over him. Where's the whore? Uh, sorry, excuse me. <laughs> you're, you, yeah, are you sure he's referring to you? Um, is he is he talking about his mother like that? And I say I look at the father and say that. Uh, well, his uh, well, uh, sorry. Oh uh, well, uh, his mother died. Uh, um, and you let him talk to you m- like that? Mother died in trouble. Well, I'm, I'm busy. I'm busy working the metery here. I'm, I'm, I'm right, doing I, the best I can. You know. I grab the father. You're, do you want to move in? Do you want to move in? I'm totally in there. there like, yeah, I'm all right. up in his. his there room. you are. There, yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. Right, there he okay. is. There. Okay. Right. Okay. So this here is, is where I yeah. want to go, and I want to grab him by the by the throat. Oh, Joe! Oh my God! Oh. But not I... not like pressing too hard, but just grabbing and just being like, "You need to teach this boy manners, because he will he, not survive." He's very good. At, he's very good at finding money. Uh, he's been very useful in the oh, yeah, meadery. Please so put great. me down. I'll pay you whatever you want. Guard, guard. Ren's going to immediately turn his, face at the door, his hand like, pointing out. Robert puts and his hand on, it, on her shoulder and says, it's not good manners to assault people in their place of business. It's not good manners to raise a child in this manner either. He's a menace to society. Wrongs, don't make I'm not going to hurt you. He's a good boy. He's a good boy, really. He's a good boy, really. I let okay, go of his neck and I ask him <laughs> if he truly believes that to his core of his being. Do you he's, truly believe that you're He's child... been through a lot. He's lost his mum. And now so you leave what? him alone. Yes. Yeah, so what do you mean leave him? Should, should we have left him with the manticore? No, I'd yeah. pay you for that. I'd I pay don't you care for that. about payment. I, I care do. about how what this do boy you is... care about? I care about how this boy is going to grow up and be mm-hmm. the way he is and treat others 
in the manner that he treated his saviors when we rescued him. We what should you say him. to them, Andrew? What did you say to them? Oh, oh, well, well, Daddy, I, I, I figured, I figured you, you'd sent them. They worked for me, and uh, they were my employees. And he looks around. And he goes, well, "Can't argue with that." You can because you didn't send us. We found you. You didn't find us. And I, I look at him and I say, "You didn't send me." Who are you? Exactly. So teach your fucking boy manners before I do. He already did, to be fair. Make an intimidation well, check. Okay. <laughs> intimidation. With advantage. With it, oh good, because I'm not very intimidating. <laughs> Gabriel, Gabriel Hench in chat says it's all gig- shits and giggles and someone gig- until someone giggles and shits. Bad rolls. <laughs> That's Bad a six. Um, he's like, you're crazy. <laughs> I, uh, look, I give you all the gold I have. I'll give you a case of mead. And uh, He's a good boy, really. Just leave us alone. I'll do my best. Right. I'm a, I'm a single father. 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 I'm 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 trying my best. I'll concentrate I, more. I'll concentrate more on the manners. I promise. You, you know what you do? You I'm, do I'm, you. And I just walk out. I, I don't even oh. give a shit about his meter. Uh, you looking back? Sh- sh- Shalana, as you you, pause, you, you uh, looking back look, when you walk out? Oh, do I do a look back? You should. Yes, I do. And in a, in a disappointing. Yeah. Not, they, they, not at the child. Because if I see that, I will. Go well, he's right it. there, and you, like there's like there's two of them. Like he's there, and he's there, and you just see the shag up. Okay, well then I um I, I turn and I spit at their feet and I walk out. So Shalana, oh, as you as you pass uh, Limud, yes, I'm just gonna whisper to you and say, uh, that is where your anger should be focused, not at the child. Oh, that's uh, where it is. Robert, more th- uh, more so than anything else. As she starts heading back out, Robert puts her arrows back in her quiver and is like, to them. <laughs> well, he pulled, like, when she started fighting with the dad, she, like, he pulled them out because he didn't oh, want her to. <laughs> it's okay. I have, I have daggers. Uh, he um, doesn't know that. Or okay, Shalan would think she could strangle him with her bare hands, even though she's Dave, nowhere near like that. Yeah. <laughs> is mead flammable? Um, I don't know the answer to that. Um, I don't think so. It's it's a honey wine, so it's not. Yeah. No, it's not a spirit. Uh, um, what I'm going to do is, is, is be, to burn down the meter before if you just be, before <laughs> before. Did we, the lads is, get paid though? Yeah, did um, they get paid? Do you want do you, do you want to ask for payment? I'm payment. not. I you will demand not. payment. I okay. demand payment. Okay, well, I've, in you pop rent and um, yeah. chat with the chat with I've the I've followed Shalon out. Right, so. I'm talking to the mud at this point, and I'm just yeah, so we, angry. We, we're just that... having a discussion at this point about. Let's let Ren have a chat with um uh, with the media owner. Um, yeah. like, or or I, I I thought you were gone. Well, we were, but you didn't pay us yet, and your little shithead kid here. As you know, aye, 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 aye. That, that's that's my only son. That's my only son. Don't mind as, me as put you in the barrel to, with me. I'll drown you. Tra- I will. I'll drown you. Ren, Ren's hand bursts into flames. Oh, you want to keep you want to keep that line of thought. Oh shit! Guards, yeah. guards! Don't call the guards. We oh, have a, he's, he's... we saved your we saved your son, right? <laughs> we could have left like, him to be. Eaten like saying, by a don't manticore. stab me as a knife in you. No, no, he's not like stop yeah, hitting no. yourself. No, yeah. not gonna, he's not going to stop. The red's not going to hurt him. He just did it. It was like a, a shut him up kind of thing. Like that. You were... offered to do this for free. Said you were never... heroes of <laughs> Somerton, <laughs> saviors of Somerton. Hey, you said hey, you were. I, we never once said free. Also, there was nothing in our deal about fighting a fucking manticore. I didn't he know where he, he went. Care. He said he went in looking for honey. I, I don't care. That you all right, how much do I owe you then? Are all the other three lads in there as well? Like Jaden? No, so Does Jaden have anything friend. to say? Like They're all out here. Unless no, you no. want to be in here, you're all outside. I, I just, t- Do you come outside with us? I was outside the entire time. Oh, you didn't even come in? Oh, I just deposited in the door and that was it. Oh. Ten gold pieces ahead for the party. Well, my That's son's my only got one head, so I'll give you ten gold. No, no, ten gold pieces for all of us. I'm not that rich. I ain't got that money. That's right. That's like, well, that's well. like like six months profit for me. Okay, okay. We'll come to a deal then. Teach your son not to be a little scumbag in future. And we can call it ten gold pieces. Whoa! That's it. No, whoa. no, don't woe me. Don't woe me. Your son thinks it's okay to treat people like slaves. That's not cool. I mean, Raise him better. All right, all right, all right. How much do you want? 
Ten gold pieces. You said ten gold pieces? We'll take ten gold pieces. <clears throat> All right, hold on. Don't Do you better. fucking don't you fucking say anything, Andrew. You look at me and leave him in the little <clears throat> hole. You see, kind of reaching what, into What in, did Robert just... say? And the barrel of mead. Oh yeah, and the barrel of mead. You promised us a barrel of mead earlier. I I give you six bottles. No a barrel. Have you have you any idea how big a barrel is? Well, like, it's like it's it's a cask. It, you, it has to be loaded onto a, 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 a horse and cart. A cask? Do you have a cask like a small cask that you put in the back? Yeah, I give you six bottles. That's like three casks. They're big bottles. They're like two okay, liter no, bottles. Big bottles. Fine. Uh, oh my god, you're very aggressive. Right, yeah, it, I just it, fought it, a fucking Manticore. I didn't ask you to do that. I just asked you he to bring him back. Say, yeah, and you could have picked him up and run. No, we, we could have the fight him. Killed him when we had the chance. Here you go. Here's We're your ten anywhere. gold. <laughs> yeah, and fuck, fucking yeah. highway man, you are. Here's your ten oh, gold. And, 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 if I was a highway man, I would have slit your son, son's throat in the forest and left him to die. I didn't. Oh, you've got a dark there. side. You've got a dark side. No, no. Saviors of Somerton. Saviors. You probably, can, probably just burned it to the ground. Can somebody go in there and get him? Or I'm gonna, I'm do out. we hear this? Like, do here's your money. Get me, Madry. No. Get me, Madry. Robert is just like. Grant walks room. back, and still on fire, and she's just pointing with a, like a flaming finger. Okay, <laughs> and, f- and then it just turns to a middle finger, and then he just backs out the door. To finish, Robert to finish like... up for tonight. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, are you, Robert. Are you, is are you do guys? Something sorry, first. sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. I mean, Robert uh, is just like I think it's quills are made from iron. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> so um, I got ten gold. How are we dividing this up? You got 10 gold in total? Yes. Mm. We should have just slit that guy's throat, I swear. No, no, no. Must, you don't. must go into your card sheet and check your, check your alignment. I currently Chaotic heard. neutral. Okay. Oh, wow. Neutral. There's always one. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Every as party much, needs as, one. As much as an I old like school DM player or D&D player always, always chooses chaotic. Yeah, oh, yeah, no, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's awesome, that's awesome, 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 awesome. Um, okay, cool. Really cool. So I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna copy you guys over. I assume you're heading back to your um your place of can we rest, check which can is we check the inn. It wasn't yeah. there a, ta- a tavern. Does the tavern have rooms? That I did creepy. not have oh, a you... designated spot, but no. You're, um, you're but you guys with us. Yeah. So do you want to go to the shadows rest, or there's also the thirsty troll, the inn, the, the sorry, the tavern that you haven't. I mean. Oh, it's ten gold. Yeah. We have ten gold to spend. So. Uh, well, well, I, I suppose the real question is, what time is it? In um, the it's today? about. It's a, probably about six o'clock in the evening. Never mind. Because okay. more and and, and I suppose we wanted to get back here. This is the reason we didn't camp out was because we wanted to get back here mm. yep. early so we could go. I can't believe I'm saying this. Weird. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, ca- ca- camp out outside the the the, the child's home. The yes. child's home. Yeah, yeah. I'm not doing that. I'm going to the pub. And then I'm going to order myself a room and then I'm, you know, going to relax and I'm going to sit outside. And one of, one of my um, proficiencies is like wood carving and whittling. So I'm going to sit out like an old man on a porch drinking ale and whittling. And a picture of and the then, carver whittle of that kid and then cut it off. Oh, no. no and no. just and just, and just like <laughs> carve a kind of a wooden piece of art of a, of a, of a, a very small uh, child getting his ass kicked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I was more thinking of the wyvern. That's my oh, nice. Interest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> nice, nice, nice. So I want to be whittling what I saw. And, I like um, it. I really like that. These guys can fuck off outside your man's house and, and camp out there, but I'm I'm going Excellent. to hopefully so, have a nice hot meat pie. And Yeah, um, you can do that. So you guys, you, you, you can get a room in the Shadow's Rest. Uh, you guys can either go to the Thirsty Troll or you can go back to the shadows rest. What do you want to do? Uh, well, we, also have to, we have to we have to do the stakeout. We're, we're supposed to, I mean, well, the stakeout will probably begin out. at about ten o'clock at night. So you have about f- four hours. Mm-hmm. Yeah, go take a short rest, maybe, and then. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Just well, I mean, for now, we can get a long one, but like the rest. Yeah, of I love. I love. Rest. Yeah, yeah. If you want to do this tonight, you're yeah, you're like you're only going to get a short rest. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah. We definitely have to do this tonight. Okay, so shadows yeah. rest or thirsty troll, or shadows are you rest. just going to shadows rest? So is it like the is it like six? I, I don't want to go to, I don't want to go to Thirsty Troll. I've met enough weird people. Like rather the devil you know than the devil you don't. <laughs> I love that you assume I'm gonna have weird NPCs in there. I we know, we know for a fact. <laughs> it was Grundle. 
Tooth, right? Yeah. Grundle, Grundle, Grundle Tooth, Grundle is it? Grundle, Grundle Tooth's the baker, yeah. And, I, uh, he hasn't been to the Shadows Rest. He, no. he was last night, yeah. Um, uh, but sorry, not, he's like, not here now, Mel. No. Uh, no, I mean, you can go look for him if you want. No, I'm Whitlin. Whitlin. Too busy. Every, every day I'm Whitlin. Cool. So, uh, you got, I'm going to move you over to the Shadows Rest. So, it's like. I think it's time to night. call the session. Uh, yeah, that's exactly yeah. what I was going to say. That's why I was okay. asking where you're going. Wait, I, I want to know what Fanara had to say. Yeah, so I'm just going to yeah, delete, yeah. You, delete you all. And I'm going to put you it's all... It's six at night, you said? Yeah. It's about uh, six in the evening. Just give me one yep. sec. I'm going to try... No, no, here. Fanara was doing something. Yeah. So. Do you want yeah, to know wanted... if you can get a trance? Yeah, I wanted to see if I could do a trance because if it starts at 10 o'clock in the night, then I could do a trance because it's like four hours. You can, yeah, you certainly can. Uh, where Would uh, you like to go back up to where you had your dream? Yeah, yeah, I'll go back there. Okay, Hopefully so you can move your token. Access. You can move your token there. Uh, you guys want to drop yourselves in wherever you want in the Shadows Rest, and we're going to leave it there for tonight. Well done, everyone. No yeah, thank you so much for, for a very entertaining against, stream. Against the odds, you, like... I know. I cannot believe how easily you fucking smashed that Manticore. Okay, uh, that was... Chromatic Orb is really good, okay? It is pretty good, especially when, such, when, when you get a natural level. 20. <clears throat> but it's but, a first um, level spell that can do 3d8. Like, that's... But in terms of the stream, um, thank you very much for everybody to for joining in, and we yeah. really appreciate it. And everyone's yeah, like... We I obviously like had fun. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I, I like how everyone's getting to know each other, and you guys are getting more comfortable with each other, and that's only going to be a good thing. 